and learn how to torrent themes archives. Do not go to freedomthemes.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent themes archives. Today, people go to college, do coursework, repeat what professors tell them, get degrees, and are issued official transcripts from state-approved institutions. In the future, people will learn online and obtain pseudonymous academic credentials associated with their Bitcoin address. That future is now. At mathgate.info, you can learn basic reasoning skills. Instead of a transcript, you can earn cryptographic proof that the owner of your Bitcoin address learned these skills. For more information, come to mathgate.info. Amanda Bosold here for Midas Resources. Today, June 5th, 2014, gold opened at 1251.90. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1297.70, 648.85 for a half ounce, or 324.42 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's 1297.70, 648.85, and 324.42. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe ten grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800 981 7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800 981 7590. 800 981 7590. Get out of debt now. 800 981 7590. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You bring up whatever you want and dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. They come to make a better life for themselves and end up, if they are unlucky, captured by the federal government. In this case, an agency called the CPB. That's Customs and Border Protection, also related to ICE, Immigrations and Customs Enforcement, and then uh, held in detention centers, supposedly before they're transferred over to ISIS custody. So we're talking about what is it like inside the CPB detention centers. We've got a glimpse of the conditions in which people are being people, humans, who could very well be a loved one of yours. They could be your, you know, your brother, your sister, your cousin. These people are being held in pretty terrible conditions, and we'll continue to describe those here in a moment. 
You, um, speaking of international borders, you may have heard of uh, bitcoins. Bitcoins are an international cryptocurrency. They're not. A, it's not a currency issued by any government. It's just a currency that's backed by the power of cryptography um, on the internet. They are a unbreakable code. They cannot be counterfeited. They cannot be inflated. And by that mean, but with that I mean, uh, governments can't just issue them when they want to buy something or go fight a war or whatever they want to do. If you want to get some bitcoins, and actually the Bitcoin market's been kind of uh, heading up here recently, if you want to get some bitcoins, um, check out ExpressCoin.com. It's the best choice for buying Bitcoin or Dogecoin, if you've heard of that. Mm. Um, in fact, it's, it's easy, fa safe, fast, legal, inexpensive. ExpressCoin still provides uh, prides themselves on their customer service. Uh, they used to be CashIntoCoins.com, but now they're ExpressCoin.com. I had a big question uh, from Ellen last night yep. about ExpressCoin. She wanted to know if the $40 deal was still in effect. And I said that, based on my research, yes, it is. If you go on their website, it does have that information. And I think that, you know, if that can, is, I, I hope that's going to continue. I expect that it will. Uh, Everything's a limited time offer in this yeah. world. But, it's been um, going for a while, though. Yeah, what and you can do is you can, without having to pay any fee at all, you can uh, you know, get $40 or fewer if you want to try out cryptocurrency. Worth see what it's like. Yeah, worth a Bitcoin. Is it, what about Dogecoin? I presume that would be the same thing, yeah. We'll see. So get your cryptocurrencies with a money order, check, or wire transfer by starting off at ExpressCoin.com. You can even do it with your smartphone by downloading the app at ExpressCoin.com. All right, so we're talking about some of the uh, the circumstances, the situation that people are dealing with having to be detained by CPB agents, Customs and Border Patrol. They have detention facilities where conditions are less than desirable. But, of course, some people would say, hey, it's jail. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. And I'm wondering how uh, you want to, you know, what would you say about experiencing this? What would you say? How would you feel if you were in the shoes of these ladies uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. No, uh, very frequently the cell runs out of toilet paper. The water smells like bleach, has a foul taste, burned the, the, one of the complaining ladies' throat when she drank it, uh, forced to go to the bathroom on a toilet visible to everyone in the cell. That's a... That's a pretty hard thing for people to do. If a um, U.S. citizen was treated this way, like, say, you know, when they accidentally crossed into Iran, I've seen some hikers uh, mm -hmm. that, that happened to at one point. I don't think that People in the United States would like that very much. I bet you're right about that. But I get where it's difficult to, for, you know, it's, it's difficult for an agency to handle this huge influx of people trying to come across the border. That's what they're charged with is mm -hmm. stopping people, um, detaining people and doing whatever they do. Uh oh, apparently it's so difficult they can't give out enough sanitary napkins to the women in the cell. Right. And um, they want to tease people with toilet paper. I get it. Um, that's the claim here. I mean, that, that seems to me like. They don't even have the basics down of taking care of human beings in your custody. In custody. Well, you know, I mean, prison guards have never been. Uh, you know, show me the movie where prison guards are the heroes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there, there may be there may be some good ones among them, but it's hard, it's a tough job, and it tends to sour people's personalities pretty quickly. Is the way that I've seen it um, in the past. So, yeah, I mean. These the, what these prison guards have to deal with many times people banging on doors all hours of the day and night they deal with the worst of humanity and it tends to kind of twist them in some ways um, you know not all of them but you're not making excuses for them I'm not making excuses I'm just saying I understand how these things might be how do we deal with it I don't know I think that if you just sort of opened up the borders in a give in a one big fell swoop which I think is the only philosophically sound thing to do that free people must be able to uh, cross borders freely. Mm -hmm. Or you don't have free people and you don't have free countries? No. But and they only really closed the border to Mexico in 1968. So it's not that, I mean, almost my lifetime. Hmm. And it wasn't that big of a deal for people at that time. I mean, I think if you opened it, there might be some equilibrium, but those first few years would be pretty bumpy. I don't know. I mean, it's 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 a very difficult uh, position to, to take because the government has messed everything up at this point. You know, well, what's me, so bad about people wanting to work and make a better life for themselves? I say nothing. I mean, certainly there's the idea that folks coming here taking welfare, that's a bad thing. That's, I think yeah. 
I think government welfare, though, is a bad thing in general, and I think that we should have charitable solutions to helping poor people and uh, needy I don't, people. And I don't sick see people. any reason why anyone has a uh, philosoph- philosophically has a claim on uh, tax dollars if they cross into this country. I don't think they should. They they des- they deserve one penny. Um, I think well, they're that getting a lot of them in the form of the. Uh, they sure the, are. It costs the, a lot. I mean, what I mean is in the form of uh, running these prisons. That's what I mean. I mean, this is expensive. And we're tr- there. These people are treating people very inhumanely. There's more points, though. That uh, again, these are the claims of one one lady. But there are several respondents to uh, an anonymous survey of former CPB detainees and other you know, studies that have been done here. So this is a, kind of a an excerpt, uh, a taste of what the conditions can be like for people in CPB care. CPB agents never cleaned the cell or provided a garbage can. Used toilet paper and uh, the used toilet paper and sanitary napkins accumulated in a pile. The story oh, opens awful. with a with um, information about how there's 20 women in the cell, but they only would bring by four or five sanitary napkins for a them day. per day. And the woman had a you know injured foot, so she couldn't get to them fast enough. The other woman snatched them up. She had one sanitary napkin that had to last her through her entire period, and it became pretty rancid uh, after all was said and done, and I imagine fairly quickly. So they just put them all in a pile, and a putrid stench just uh, thus el- enveloped the cell, or enveloped the cell. CPB agents refused to give Quinones food at mealtimes on account of her ankle. Quinones couldn't walk to where the guards were distributing sandwiches. CPB held Quinones from early morning to the evening in a facility where no food was served at all. She and the other detainees' only access to drinking water was via the sink, since they were not provided cups. They had to drink water with their hands. After Quinone's medical conditions made her dizzy and nauseous, and she collapsed on top of the pile of used toilet paper while trying to make her way to the toilet, she was briefly taken to the hospital, but CPB agents returned her to holding without medical treatment. Neither the agency nor the CPB agents' union responded to requests for comments. They eventually released her to ICE custody. It was then that she made contact with immigration attorneys not to complain about her treatment, but to pursue her original goal in coming to the United States. Asylum. Again, she was trying to come here because she was being abused. Right, there, and there are asylum laws in this country, and you know the idea is, is that you can escape to a freer place, but it's gotten so difficult to use them. In the meantime, she's suing the government for monetary damages. We'll tell you more. And you can share how you feel at 855-450-FREE. Do you think that conditions should be worse for these detainees? Share your thoughts. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. We're here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. At 30dayfoodsupply.com, you can now purchase a -a one-of-a-kind product not available anywhere else. A meatless burger dry mix in four delicious flavors. With our new Oregon Trail Foods vegan burgers, all you do is add water and fry. They need no refrigeration. They're packaged in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber for a long shelf life. They're non-GMO. They're gluten, soy, nut, and chemical-free, but they're loaded with flavor. And a good source of carbs and protein, yet low in sodium. Flavors include Italian, spicy Mexican, six vegetable and black bean olive go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010 and order today eat them every day take them camping or save them for an emergency check them out at 30dayfoodsupply.com and click on the vegan burger icon that's 30dayfoodsupply.com where all of our products are produced in oregon by oregon trail foods 30dayfoodsupply.com Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? 
Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. It doesn't have to be about immigration, detention, facility conditions, which is what we started the show with here tonight. You can take control toll-free, 855-450-FREE, and join us online. We've got all kinds of features on our site. we give them to you, so enjoy at freetalklive.com. Speaking of giving you things, go to coffee.freetalklive.com, and you'll get a free pound of coffee. It's not just ordinary store-bought coffee, which can uh, sit around for a long time, be moldy, you'll never know. Um, It's BuzzBox coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% Arabica beans. So the organic certification is important when you're talking about third world countries where they, you know, use leaded gas and you don't know what's up with the pesticides. Could be DDT. I don't know. You don't know. Um, it also, the shade-grown aspect is important for folks that get kind of that acid reflux from drinking coffee. Shade-grown's milder. It's not like the Robusto beans, which are grown out in the sun. But BuzzBox also has a sort of a, a, a theory on growing coffee. Not only do they make it possible for poor farmers to uh, experience, get part of their, their co-op, be, become part of their co-op and live a better life, but they also make it possible for partners like us to offer microloans to people around the world, no matter whether they're involved in the coffee industry or not. Um, just people who you know want a sewing machine or a plow or a bicycle or a car to be able to do their business. And for every 10 people that continue to get their pound of coffee uh, after signing up for the subscription there to get your free pound at coffee.freetalklive.com, for every 10 people that do that, and thank you for the many people that do, we're able to offer another microloan to another family and change another life by giving another hand up, not a handout, a hand up to people. So go, get a free pound, try it out at coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay the shipping on that first pound, but uh, we'll give it to you for free. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Talking about the immigration conditions in the detainee centers, and the CPB, the Customs and Border Protection Bureaucracy, holding thousands of human beings in uh, about nine facilities, apparently, and shocking, just terrible, awful conditions. Some people who've been in jail will say, oh, well, that's, that's pretty common, I guess. But I think a lot of people have, you know, they have no clue what this is like. They don't know how embarrassing it can be, like, you know, to have to go to the bathroom in front of 20 people uh, to be given. I don't given... see that being undone anytime soon. That's kind of a security issue. 
Okay, well, I guess it just depends on how they're, they're organizing the jail where, um, you know, I've been to jail before. There's no more than two to four people in a detainee cell, and there's some level of not much privacy, but, you know, you can sit down and kind of not be seen by some of the people in, in the cell. So I guess it just depends on how the facility is, is designed. But you've got, uh, they're not handing out enough sanitary napkins for the ladies uh, in the custody there. The water apparently smells like bleach and burns your throat while going down. Uh, some pretty just terrible conditions. Wondering how you feel. Let's go to Adam in North Dakota. I can share some of the Facebook responses here in a moment. But Adam, you're on Free Talk Live listening uh, to KNOX in Grand Forks. Actually, I'm listening to KTGO in Tioga. Oh, but, excellent. Um, yeah, I was just calling about, um, you know, not just, I mean, you know, I'm not saying that these conditions that these women are in are good, but I want to describe to you conditions in, the, in, in a place fairly close to you, the York County Jail in York County, Maine. Um, room probably 20 by 30, long holiday weekend, picked up on a Friday night. Probably by the end of the weekend, there was 40 guys in there, single toilet, no wall, um, open to everybody. Um, toilet paper, same situation as these women, um, you know, had to beg the guards for it. They thought it was funny. would throw a roll in, you know, every four or five hours or so. Mm-hmm. You know, it's long holiday weekend, so lots of drunks, puking all over the place. The place never got cleaned. Um, so I guess it's not just these, these facilities that are like that. Um, sure. It's, uh, it's a pretty common, um, common uh, you know, situation in, in probably many places. This was a holding cell, though, for a weekend. We didn't go to arraignment until Tuesday morning because of the holiday weekend. But, um, you know, that's, that's what it was like in, in a place that's, you know, probably less than 100 miles probably from where you guys are um, in New Hampshire there. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's, a pretty common, it's a pretty common in the criminal justice system in a, in a, in a broader scheme of things. And, and, you know, it doesn't feel like you're being treated like a human being when you're in conditions like that, right? Oh, absolutely not. No, no. You're like it's, you're being treated like an animal, um, you know. It, but, uh, I mean, I guess part of the, the lesson there, to, to, to some degree, not a whole degree, is if you can't do the, if you can't take the time, don't do the crime. But Yeah, but, but uh, everything's a crime. I kind of feel that way, I too. But the I, problem is, is there's just so darn many crimes. Right, everything's <laughs> a crime. I mean, what is it? The oh, right. average oh, person exactly. commits three felonies every day in the in, uh, United That's a claim by States. an author, yep. But um, anyway, I just wanted to describe that situation, you know, that situation to you, you know, in a place that's about as far removed from the Mexican border as you can get in the United States anyway. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Um, I mean, there's no doubt. There's uh, some really bad jails in all over the United States. Some are better than others. Um, but, yeah, there's terrible conditions across the board. And I thank you, Adam, for your call tonight and the thoughts at 855-450 free. We go to George in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. George. Hey guys, I was calling about the whole thing with um, Virginia telling, pretty much telling me that I'm a criminal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a story we had on the air. I guess it was, I think it was Friday night, uh, about how apparently Uber has now been banned, as well as Lyft, the two main ride-sharing services, completely banned in the state of Virginia. Is that right? Yeah, um, but I just got an email um, yesterday from Uber saying, you know what, keep on driving right there. We're going to fight this. Really? And um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, one of my former coworkers was pointing out is like, uh, since cash is not changing hands, um, the state really can't go after the drivers because there's no direct change of hands on cash. And so, the cash, oh, so, cash is not uh, changing hands. Yeah, I, I, I mean it has to be like per ride, a per ride thing. Where, um, you know, they had to give me the cash, the money at the end of the ride, right? There, you know, for it to be illegal. So I guess I need to hear again what ca- Uber is, because I guess I don't understand. Well, um, uh, it's a uh, ride share thing where the, the credit card is billed, you know, after the fact, you know, some sometime after the fact, and so, but it's billed by the company, not billed by the driver. Gotcha. So, Understood. So, so since, since it's not going directly from passenger to driver, right there, according to my coworker, they can't, the state really can't go after me because technically I'm not breaking the law. I'm getting paid every week, every Thursday by Uber, right there. I'm not getting paid by every passenger. Understood. So, so uh, yeah. So wait, if somebody pays you directly for a ride, that's not breaking the law. I mean, no, that is breaking the law. No, no. Someone does. Someone does pay me directly. That is breaking the I law. I see. I'm sorry. Totally but, missed. missed so that. you don't touch cash because um, you know they may very well have some kind of staying operation going or something like that, right? 
Exactly, right there. I'm not touching any cash. So technically, they can't really go after me. And uh, either way, I'm still going to keep on doing it, even even if I'm technically illegal, because, you know, hey, it's a civil disobedience thing. And I was like, I got my Uber app here, like a, a passenger Uber app, and I'm looking, I'm seeing a whole bunch of other Uber drivers that, that still driving. So, so we're, we're, we're pretty much all, all telling the state to piss off, and um, they can't catch us all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it. Well, they could do underground or like under uh, cover sting operations on you. I presume you know they could go and download the I app. I think they will. They could uh, claim they need a ride, and one of you guys are going to show up and get them. They, pro- they probably could. However, um, like I said, I think they have to um, be offering cash. In which case, um, I tell Uber tells me to tell the passengers anyway. Like, hey, cash is not necessary on this thing right there. I'm not, you know. <laughs> Well, yeah. Don't you, you have take to put a- anything for like if if a passenger for whatever reason wants to give you cash? This is what I don't understand here, is that if somebody wants to tip you, and I'm using air quotes here, can you take money for that, or is that illegal too? I'm, yeah, I'm allowed. To, I'm allowed to, but uh, um, as a driver, Uber tells me to remind them that it's um, the cash is not necess- necessary per gotcha. se. You know, that I get paid by the thing, but but they insist I, I'm allowed to take the tip. And I do, you know, I got um, tips a couple times just the other day, you know, on the thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad so, to hear that, George. Thank you for the call tonight. and appreciate the update from the inside because yeah, we were wondering what would happen here. <laughs> <laughs> Where Uber has been banned and Lyft. Apparently, the, the, the news headline was that some regulatory agency or whatever banned them from operating it across Virginia. I was wondering what would happen. Apparently, Uber continuing to operate. So that's what I like to see from business people is to do their business and not worry about the bureaucrats. More coming up. Would you like to meet like-minded people from all over and have a spectacular vacation while sharing ideas about liberty, free markets, and individual rights? If so, Cato University is for you. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event. Cato University brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the globe, all sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University's widening popularity is due not only to the quality of the attendees, faculty, and topics, but to the opportunity it provides you to form new and enduring friendships and for sharing experiences and perspectives in a -a one-of-a-kind, engaging environment. This year's Cato University is being held at the Rancho Bernardo Inn, a beautiful, quiet resort just north of San Diego. Cato University runs from July 27th to August 1st, To plan your trip to Cato University or for more information, visit CatoUniversity.org. Got a simple question for you. Can you sell? Yes? Okay. Can you sell the intangible? If yes, and you'd like to work 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, with no overtime, no weekends, if you're passionate about not closing sales, but about opening relationships, if you truly have a desire to serve global clients who need your advertising expertise, and you're local to the Twin Cities and Burnsville, are hardworking, self-driven, with experience in sales, marketing, or advertising, are personable and a whiz on the phone, GCN wants to talk with you right now. GCN, the Genesis Communications Network, is one of the largest independent talk radio networks in the world and we're hiring right now we offer benefits and an excellent commission structure experience preferred but we'll train the right person is that you submit your resume today to advertise at gcnlive.com again that's advertise at gcnlive.com come work with the genesis communications network an equal opportunity employer are you looking for an excuse to come check out new hampshire this fall You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info.
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up what you want. The toll-free number is here, and it's 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on the website for free. Well, again, head over to freetalklive.com. We talk a lot about Bitcoins and how it is that Bitcoins as a currency, as this decentralized currency that is not operated by government or corporation, how this decentralized currency can help you be more free. And Mark, you've got one of the myriad of ways. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of reasons why somebody might want to get a second passport or renounce their citizenship. And I'm not just talking about the United States, countries all over the world. Last year was an all-time high for record uh, record for people renouncing their citizenship. That's their U.S. citizenship. But people do it all over the world, whether it's a governmental intrusion on privacy or a protest against foreign policy or to protect your wealth, or to avoid pointless regulations, onerous taxation, or as a refuge. Um, you may want to get a second passport or change your citizenship. Check out the St. Kitts program at PassportsForBitcoin.com. Now, they actually, um, once you, if you go through that website, I believe that they um, give, give you more information about uh, you know, using other currencies to do it. But PassportsForBitcoin.com make it easy for you to use Bitcoins to get a second passport or renounce your citizenship. Obviously, they take Bitcoins, just another way. Uh, Bitcoins can offer you more freedom. PassportsForBitcoin.com. We continue your calls and thoughts about what you want, though you certainly are welcome to comment on immigration detainee conditions in the United States. And what are they supposed to be? There's a little bit more information in the Mother Jones piece here. They do have standards. So are they meeting their standards by... Not providing the women in the cell and you know the holding cell with enough sanitary napkins to take care of themselves. I'm guessing not. Uh, we'll find Nobody's out. Going to write that down. We'll have, find out here in a moment. J- uh, Jimmy, first though, listening. I think he may. Uh, apparently, Jimmy's claiming to have been abduct- abducted by aliens. Are you in an alien holding cell right now, Jimmy? Uh, I escaped him. You got away. Uh, yeah, it is a long. It- so let me just see what happened real quick. It's yeah. kind of a long story. I'll, I'll try to make it short. So uh, I met some buddies on MySpace, and uh, <laughs> it, we were uh, we were wanting to go. You know, they said, "Hey, you want to go hunting?" And I was like, "Man, that's that sounds fun." Mm-hmm. And uh, so I met up with them, three fellas, and I said, "Hey," they said, "Ah, right, well, we got a cabin. We'll go hunting." I said, "Okay, cool." So I didn't really know these guys except for MySpace. You know, they seem all right. Okay. So I met up with them. Uh, I kissed Grandma Ton and Jar Jar and Milford goodbye, just like I always do when I go hunting. And uh, so we we get there, spend the night. You know, we're we're kind of partying the night before, drinking some Keystone Light and listening to some dubstep remixes of Nickelback. So it's a good night. <laughs> you guys are all right. So uh, so they, you know, we woke up early in the morning and they said, uh, I said, all right, cool. You know, let's go hunting. And they said, uh, hey, we're we're here to hunt you. So I was freaking out. And I'm like, what in the world? You know, yeah. So I haul butt out in the Arizona uh, mountains. You know, I'm hauling butt. I'm, I'm trying to run away from these fellas. And I, I managed to evade them for quite some time. And it got 
uh, dark, and I saw these bright lights, and I was like, oh, man, you know, someone's here to save me, you know, and it turned out to be some aliens, and uh, they were in a Toyota pickup truck, <laughs> and yeah, I know, you believe that, and that's crazy, so, you know, they abduct me. How did you know, just before, whoa, whoa, before you go on the abduction here, how did you know they were aliens in the pickup truck? Because uh, I, I think they was from Juarez or Tijuana. Uh huh. So abducted by aliens from Tijuana. Now, how did they? Uh, how do they manage the uh, the abduction? Did, did they, they tie you, up? you? Well, they only spoke Spanish. They they were illegal aliens. I don't. Well, now hold on. I'm confused. So you went out and you hung out with some guys that you were going to go hunting with the night prior. Were they the same people who were hunting you the next day? Because I thought it sounded like they turned the tables people on you. People from Mexico don't listen to dubstep remixes of Nickelback. Come on. No, no. These were people from Arizona. But I, I got away from them, and then aliens abducted me. Oh, I see. So the t you're saying that you don't believe the two uh, events were related, that uh, there were— the Well, they're related. He wouldn't be out there running in the woods if uh, it hadn't been for these guys. I know, but but were the, the people from Arizona working with the, the folks from Mexico? No, I think they were working with James. James? Who's James? J James from Arizona. Oh, I see. I, I see. So he's behind all this. Gotcha. So what else happened? Probably. I mean, tell me more about the abduction. What? Where'd they take you? Oh, we went out. They took me out to eat. Um, they were <laughs> Sounds horrifying. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. I, no mention of any kind of butt probing. So I, I thought they were all right fellas. They, they ended up actually dropping me back home at the house. And uh, everything turned out all right. They Good just to hear, you know. Jimmy. I'm really glad for that, and thank you for the call. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But I think that he did touch on something, even though I don't know if the story was true, but he did touch on the fact that the folks who are from another place, another plot of land in uh, somewhere on the earth, in this case Tijuana perhaps, these are people just like you and I who, you know, they have families. Many of them are very, very nice folks that want to make a better life for themselves, and that's why they come to the United States. And there are a variety of different reasons why. You know, Maybe they're not able to, to find work where they live. Maybe they're on the run from somebody who was a domestic abuser, as we were talking about earlier. Maybe they're being persecuted by the government where, uh, where they live. Who knows what, the, what each individual's motivation is to come here. But people should be able to come here and make a better life for themselves. They should be able to work and do uh, jobs, you know, that in a lot of cases are actually apparently completely undesirable by Americans. You might recall the news stories from a few years ago out of, I think it was Alabama and Georgia, where they passed some pretty disturbing uh, crackdown, immigration crackdown laws that resulted in people who are working on farms just leaving, just packing up and, all right, well, you don't want us here, we'll go somewhere else. And they went to a different state. After that, the farms had all kinds of jobs open for harvesting whatever the product was. And they tried to make probationeers, people on probation that were going to go back, to go to prison if they didn't do the job, do the jobs, and those people would just give up. Ah, they didn't even make it through the first day, most of them. And those that did make it through the first day, those probationeers, they didn't come back the next day. Right, and this is what, what this country needs is hardworking people, I think, of all classes to come here. Because one thing I think that the... the the dumbest thing about uh, U.S. F uh, f immigration policy is that people who have degrees that earn degrees in the United States can't stay here and use those degrees. Mm. People who learn to become doctors here can't continue to be a doctor oh, here. Wow. It's nuts. Um, I mean, obviously, if somebody earns some kind of high-level degree, you want them to stay. If they've started Apparently it's some not kind so of obvious. big business or something like that, you want them to stay. Immigrants are, are actually more likely than natives to start businesses as well, so they tend to be more entrepreneurial. Uh, these are the kind of people that we— This country that we, is built by immigrants. Right, it's the kind of people that we do want Legal here. Legal and illegal. Jerry's in Myrtle Beach listening to WRNN. Hey, Jerry, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, hi, Files. How you doing today? Welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts. I just, I just wanted to, to comment on just a, a, a few things that you brought up here in the last few minutes. Uh, you know, one of you fellows mentioned something about uh, the average citizen uh, commits three felonies a day. And well, I kind of, I kind of don't uh, adhere to that particular statement. Uh, I mean, yeah, I know there's a lot of laws, but I'm not so sure that we're talking about violent. Uh, Felonious activity. Well, wait a minute. Felonies aren't necessarily violent. 
Right. Well, let me just say this to you, okay? Again, let me, again, it may not be, but the reality of the matter is, is it does infringe on someone else's rights in a serious what, manner. If what it does? A felony? A felony. That's correct. That's not true either. For instance. Hold on. I well, can, I can if I have an ounce of pot in Florida and get arrested, I'm charged with a felony. That didn't infringe on anyone. That's a, well, it, 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 it really truly does, because the what? reality of the matter is, is we always say that possession of illegal narcotics is a victimless crime, and I'm here to tell you that it's not a victimless crime. Oh, because boy. Why is that? people that are in these businesses out here are shooting each other, and innocent people get caught in a gunfire because of their entrepreneurial uh, Do you think pot dealers are substance. shooting each other? Absolutely. I see it every now, day. Yes, why sir. do you think pot Ridiculous. dealers— Okay, so let's, let's, let's assume that what you're saying is true. I tend to doubt it. Are you a the cop, Jerry? Well, hold I on. Was, yes, if sir. you're going to bring something up, that's what we're going to talk about, okay? So, um, yeah, the fact is, why do you think people are sh- uh, shooting each other? If pot dealers are shooting each other, and I doubt it, but— I've known why, a lot of pot dealers. Why do you think they're shooting they each other? And it's because pot's illegal. Aspirin dealers aren't shooting each other. Pharmacists aren't shooting each other. Beer truck drivers aren't shooting each other. But, but let me just say this to you. I mean, does that mean that we're supposed to legalize theft and every other felony? Theft? theft? No. Theft. Goodness, no. As a victim. Jerry, let's talk bank about this. Uh, hang on. I want you to stand by if you can. I would really love to give you more time here to describe where you're coming from because I have to say I'm really confused by it. You know, no. Obviously, theft has a victim. Murder, rape, these things all have victims. Drug possession, no victim. Free Talk Live. You know Lumber Liquidators for having the best selection of flooring at the lowest prices. And right now, you can buy one floor and get 50% off another on their thickest and best dream home laminates. No games, no gimmicks, just huge savings off already ridiculously low prices. Plus, get great deals on pre-finished hardwood and Morningstar bamboo. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special financing is available, but hurry, this buy one, get one sale ends Tuesday, June 3rd. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body, and new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family-owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, June 7th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.05 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,253 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $655. Antiwar.com reports, on the sidelines of this year's D-Day commemoration, Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Ukrainian counterpart, President-elect Petro Poroshenko, whose inauguration day is today, met to discuss ongoing violence along their common border. The easternmost Ukrainian oblast of Donetsk and Luhansk 
are in a state of effective rebellion as the ethnic Russian majorities oppose the policies of the interim government preceding Poroshenko. Russia has been calling for a ceasefire and negotiations, while interim officials were pushing for a declaration of martial law and more military action against the region. Where Poroshenko ultimately ends up on the issue remains to be seen, but he and Putin agreed yesterday to work on a ceasefire, with one Putin aide saying the sides wanted the soonest possible end to the fighting. That's unlikely to sit well with Western nations, which have been cheering the Ukrainian interim government's military action while blaming Russia for the ongoing resistance. The Western goal appears to be driving Ukraine into the EU sphere of influence by pushing them into a military conflict with Russia. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts & Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760 Ballot Access News reports, on June 3rd, the Virginia Community College System, which includes 23 campuses, signed a consent order greatly expanding permission for free speech activity in outdoor areas of those campuses. This is a consequence of the federal lawsuit Parks v. Members of the State Board of Virginia Community College System. The old rules, which are no longer in effect, set up free speech zones encompassing small parts of the campus and requiring registration for days in advance of any free speech activity. The new rules say colleges may place restrictions on expressive activities occurring indoors, but especially for students and student organizations. The outdoor areas of the campus remain venues for free expression, including speeches, demonstrations, and the distribution of literature. The new rules also say if individuals or organizations who are not members of the college community desire to reserve campus facilities, they must be sponsored by a recognized student organization. The rules are thus vague about the ability of non-students to petition on campus, but clearly if the petitioning is conducted by a party or campaign committee that has a tie to a recognized student organization, it will be permitted. During the 2013 Porcupine Freedom Festival, Davi Barker presented an idea for a renegade psychological experiment. Since then, he has refined his idea and put his plan and research into writing. He explains, We aim to show the world beyond a shadow of a doubt that power corrupts absolutely and corrupt authority deserves no obedience. Authoritarian sociopathy is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. The Washington Post reports, the last state with an unchallenged gay marriage ban lost that status on Friday afternoon. As had been expected, seven couples sued North Dakota on Friday afternoon, making it the last state to have its ban brought to court. According to Joshua Newville, a Minneapolis-based civil rights attorney who helped file the brief on their behalf, without any legitimate government interest, North Dakota has targeted a minority of individuals for discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. The couples in the case represent a range of relationships, old, young, adoptive parents, those asking the state to grant them marriage licenses, and those seeking recognition of out-of-state marriages. The couples hope to have the state ban overturned as unconstitutional. As of Thursday, there were 80 pending lawsuits involving the marriage laws of 32 states and Puerto Rico, according to Lambda Legal, a pro-gay marriage legal advocacy organization. According to the Human Rights Campaign, the majority of those were in federal court where no ban has survived a challenge since a key Supreme Court decision last summer. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Officials at PepsiCo announced today the upcoming launch of Mountain Dew Cineblast after the company's market research team unknowingly fell victim to a malicious focus group that convinced them cinnamon-flavored Mountain Dew was the next big thing. We were the people of the focus group. They just, they couldn't get enough of it. And then they said, the more cinnamon, the better. So we are going to put in more cinnamon. We are really excited for people to try this product. According to PepsiCo's data, all gathered from a single group of ill-intentioned respondents, customers of all ages will love the new soft drink's murky brownish green color and will soon be lining up to try the carbonated beverage jam-packed with ground cinnamon. Various members of the focus group told reporters they believed the company had made a great decision. Cineblast is the best. 
I mean, I can't wait to tell all of my friends to go buy this thing. Uh, yeah. The only way they could make it better is if they took a couple of raw eggs, mixed them up in the bottle. People would go nuts. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control toll-free here if you want. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and it's brought to you by ProXPN. We'll tell you more about what that is here in a moment. 855-450-3733. Join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. We had Jerry on the line. He actually is. He did hang through the news, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. I want to jump back into his phone call. Because, Jerry, you were saying that you're a former, it sounded like you're a former law enforcement. We didn't, re- didn't really explore that aspect yet. But you were talking about how uh, you consider felony drug possession to be a non victimless crime, in that it is a crime that has a victim. And you it talked does. about drug it, dealers. It, it, Go ahead. Society has a victim. I'll give, the, the analogy I will use for that argument. Again, that's not the reason why I called, but since we've got into the conversation, the analogy for that requirement or for that particular uh, uh, issue is the fact that if you recall when we had the great prohibition in this country, alcohol was forbidden. Now, I don't, again, whether that prohibition was justified or not was not the issue, much like I'm not going to argue whether marijuana should or should not be criminally prosecuted. But the reality of the fact is, is today, as it stands, it is the law of the land. And just like prohibition, there were a lot of ancillary violent acts that occurred uh, because of the um, illegal activities that were being performed in order to smuggle these uh, substances back and forth across state lines and whatnot. The same type of violence occurs when it comes to illegal drugs. So true. So, again, so I'm not we agree. Argue the, the, the legal aspect, I'm going to argue the fact that it is the law of the land as right. it currently is. So we agree, the not the whole is, land. It does right. bring, yeah, we, and, it does, and it does cause, but that's not the real reason why I call. Right. I, I got you, I but we can get to your real reason here so in a moment. I'm we fine do with agree that. that the war on drugs, uh, the prohibition of marijuana and other substances, causes uh, you know societal uh, crimes. I mean, causes people to do bad things uh, for whatever reason. Now, um, the, the, the law of the land thing um, is kind of a – when you look historically, laws can be good or bad. Um, there are such things as bad laws. You would agree that the Fugitive Slave Act was a bad law, right? Correct. So even though it was the law of the land, you wouldn't be willing to give up a fugitive slave that came asking you for, uh, for some kind of uh, be, being hid or sucker or some kind of solace in whatever way, right? That is correct. So I you would, would break would that not, law. Once you violate, I would not. I, 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 let's put it this way: I would not break that law. No, sir, I would not. Much like, and again, let me get to my original point, just to tie it all together. Much like uh, your 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 scenario with these illegals that are being held by CBP and the substandard um, uh, portrayal of how they are kept uh, in confinement. Uh, let me just give you this analogy. If a family showed up at your home on a promise that they were good people and that they planned on making a good, honest living for themselves and that they were running from political asylum or another country and walked into your house and demanded to give them the your bed and that you buy all the sanitary napkins for the females, the females of the family and you feed them what they consider to be standard food, yet it's better than what you actually eat would you foot the bill for all that without a moment's hesitation i think we're mixing our analogies here we've said that we believe that welfare because the reality of the matter is is these people have showed up uninvited much like that family oh no i'm inviting them please come anybody who wants a better life for your for yourself please come here and make a better life for yourself well and again but do you not have again would you not use due diligence do you let perfect strangers just come through your doorway in your home? See, you that's just the thing. Your analogy screwed up because you're talking about private property it's, and your rights on private property versus the idea of people coming no, generally to an area. I'm talking, I'm talking about the law again. Well, the, the law, law stinks. Land, We've already said that. They, We've already looked be, at that. Are you willing to put me in jail? And we're back to the law of the land on immigration. Right. I understand. The law says that they can come through without a vetting process 
You can't just open the borders up. Why not? The bottom line country is had open borders for years, you. and everything was fine. I agree with you. I agree with you that that there are some good folks who get educated here them. who probably would be great. Um, Jerry, I'd like to go back to something that you said. I understand where you're coming from on, on immigration. I want to go back to something you kind of glossed over a moment ago, and that was Mark's question about the Fugitive Slave Act. Maybe I misunderstood what you said. You said you would not obey, or you said you would obey the fugitive slave laws, right? So you I would obey whatever the law was. Yes. So Did just you to be stink, clear, because 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 resistance to tyrants, resistance to tyrants is obedience to God, my friend. Jerry, wait a minute. Just to be clear, you're saying that if it were the law that you would return a, uh, an escaped slave if you came into contact with that person, you would go if ahead and return them. The law, if the law said that I could, I could do what I wanted to do on my own conscience, that would be a wonderful place that would be called utopia. But unfortunately, we have people in our society who, in fact, make poor decisions. Yeah, they're, they're called they're politicians called and people that listen to them. How, w- how, would you, how can you live with yourself? Laws are morality. Okay? No, no, sir. Laws are words written down on paper by liars and thieves. Thanks, Jerry, for the well, call tonight. I appreciate it. Good luck out there with finding a moral code on yeah. your own. God. Can you imagine? That guy got on national radio and said that he would return a black person yep. to their white owner because it was the law. Well, you know, I guess if it were the law that you just go ahead and execute the black person right there on site, he'd have done that too. I, Whatever I, I the guess law says, I don't think the moral. color's particularly relevant, but I mean, it, good Lord in heaven, this is the question you need to ask yourself when you say we're a nation of laws. No, we're not. We're not a nation of laws. If that was true, Charlie Rangel, when he uh, didn't pay his taxes for years and years and years, mm-hmm. would have gone to prison. By the way, he's a black guy. So it's not about color on this. It's really uh, it. It's about people thinking for themselves. If you let politicians think for you, these people, politician You're... is synonymous for crook. Yeah, you might as well just throw away any shred of humanity that you have if you're allowing politicians to think for you, if if whatever it is that they write down on a piece of paper and call legislation and then call a bill, you know, call uh, a law or a statute, if you let that rule you, if you let that determine your morality, that if you believe that what is legal and what is the law is is morality, that's so twisted. There have been so many immoral laws over time, and so many are so many of them are still in existence today. I mean, he seemed to understand. That prohibition causes certain problems. You know, he seemed to grasp that, that during alcohol prohibition, there were problems with gangs and violence, murder, all kinds of corruption, and that that's been duplicated now with drug prohibition. So it's wrong to take someone who is like you, a human being, who may or may not have a problem with drugs. And put them in a prison cell for it. That's just plain old wrong any way you slice it. You can make all the arguments you want about how bad you think drugs are. But ultimately it's that other person's body and they should be able to do what they would like with it. In the same way that if you like to eat a good juicy hamburger and some french fries, that nobody should be able to put you in a prison cell for that either. But believe you me, there are people who would like to outlaw certain types of food in this country. Meets murder. Sure, there are people that believe that. And those people, when you write a law against something, that means you're backing it up with a gun. You and your opinion will be backed up by men with guns who will put people in cages for breaking that law. And I'm not saying that I don't think that there are certain things that that we need armed people to enforce. But good Lord, that? I mean, people possessing the, the flower of a plant? The freedom to travel, the ability to possess a flower or a chemical, these are what should be the rights that you possess as a human being. If you want to go from point A to point B, as long as you're welcome at point B and, and you're all, and, and the and the places in between, right? Yeah, and you know, well, if you're if you're flying over them, that should be fine too. Uh, but as long as you're welcome where it is you're going, then no one should have any say in it. No government bureaucrat sitting behind a desk with a bunch of rules and regulations should have any decision-making factor over but your they freedoms. Do. But they do, and it's sick. And the toll-free number here is 855 450 free. You can, of course, take control of the airwaves. Now, whether you want to talk about immigration or prohibition, anything goes here. Or maybe you want to tell us why you thought the fugitive slave laws were really moral. 
855 450 free. I'd love to get into more detail on that. Where is the morality exactly in the fugitive slave law to require people to return escaped slaves to the custody of their master? Oh, that's moral? How is that exactly? I'd love to know about your moral code. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. The first human mission to Mars barely averts disaster when a meteorite strikes the spacecraft, nearly destroying it. Too far from Earth to turn back, the eight-person crew desperately struggle to survive as they ride their crippled ship to the red planet. The future of human spaceflight hangs in the balance. Hugo Award-winning author Ben Bova and NASA scientist Les Johnson craft a thrilling white-knuckle ride with Rescue Mode. Available now at fine booksellers everywhere. You know Lumber Liquidators for having the best selection of flooring at the lowest prices. And right now, you can buy one floor and get 50% off another on their thickest and best dream home laminates. No games, no gimmicks, just huge savings off already ridiculously low prices. Plus, get great deals on pre-finished hardwood and Morningstar bamboo. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special financing is available. But hurry, this buy one, get one sale ends Tuesday, June 3rd. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. You're putting your name, address, credit card number, social security number, all that. You're just chucking it right up onto the internet where any disgusting degenerate can grab it. The only way to make sure that your identity is never stolen is to change it every three years. That's what I do. Two years ago, I was Ellen Foxcroft, attorney at law. Three years before that, I was Trish Homingwood, patient at the Austin State Psychiatric Hospital. And three years before that, I was Regina Dupree, lead singer of the soul group Derriere. And you know what? None of my identities has ever been stolen. So to make sure that your personal information stays safe, you gotta follow some simple steps. First, you're gonna need new pieces of identification, right? But don't worry, old Shelby knows a guy up in Detroit can fix these up pronto, real cheap. Next, you're gonna have to fake your own death. But all that takes is a mold of your teeth, a corpse, and a $500 used car for setting on fire. This is the Onion News Network. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. (laughs) 
This is Free Talk Live. You just dial on in toll-free, and we'll take your calls about anything. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. we got a full board of calls, and people are all over the map on what they want to discuss, which is totally fine with us. The toll-free number, again, 855-450-FREE. And you can also get on via Skype. Our Skype, no one's using Skype right now. You can get on via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, and you will sound better than probably everybody uh, that calls on the phones tonight. So try that out, too, when you get a chance. Something else you should also try is Bitcoin. We've talked a lot about Bitcoin over the years here on Free Talk Live, and uh, it's an amazing technology that is really revolutionizing how money works, taking it out of the hands of banks and governments and putting money into the hands of you, the people. And it's, it's awesome. I mean, I highly recommend learning more about Bitcoin. And one of the best ways to learn more is to go and meet people in real life. Yeah, there's a Bitcoin conference going on in Chicago, the North American Bitcoin Conference. This is the first Bitcoin conference that I know of that has gone on in the Midwest. So if you're in the uh, Midwest, hey, it's an opportunity to come to the city and uh, check it out. It's going to be at Chicago's McCormick Place South Building on July the 19th and 20th. We'll be there doing Free Talk Live live. And uh, there'll be lots of other speakers, too. Tony Gallippi of BitPay, which is a company that allows your business to take Bitcoins without uh, any difficulty. Roger Veer, known as Bitcoin Jesus. Charlie Lee, the creator of Litecoin. Jeff Berwick, the dollar vigilante. Trace Meyer of the Armory Wallet. And uh, Peter Smith of Blockchain.info. Just a, it's a, it's a whole bunch of people speaking about a whole different, a whole bunch of different aspects of uh, Bitcoin and how it can affect you, your business, your life, how it can change your life, uh, new job opportunities, ways to get wealthy. This is a new space, and a lot of people have gotten wealthy in the Bitcoin space. Get your tickets at btcchicago.com. Obviously, you can pay in Bitcoin. We'd love to see you there, July 19th and 20th. Chicago's McCormick Place South Building, btcchicago.com. All right, let's go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. We've got Dale in Antioch, Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live. Dale. Hey, how's it going, guys? Great, Dale. Go ahead with your thoughts tonight. Okay. Um, Mark made an interesting supposition. He brought up the fact that laws and morality, I found that in the 20th, well, for a long time, the two don't coincide. No. I mean, uh, you talk about the Fugitive Slave Act. Sure, there's a lot of people that would just say, well, I was obeying the law, and how could they sleep at night knowing that they had done something that was morally, in, 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 you know, just bad. I can't get the yeah. word out yeah. of Reprehensible, mouth. unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but law, morals have not been part of laws since they, since they let lawyers start making the laws. Hmm. Oh, I'm pretty sure that they haven't been all along. Um, I mean, if you think about, just take a look at Draco's laws. So they, they call law, draconian laws bad, but the interesting thing about Draco was is his were the first codified written down laws. So you take a look at them. These, these things benefited the rich, the wealthy, the connected. They've always done that. And hmm. it's the trick. It's the trick that they, they play on middle class and lower class people to say this is a nation of laws. <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 it is the hugest trick because they honestly think that, that the nation of laws is for them, but it, it, it's not just to keep them from doing the things that will make their lives truly free. Yep. And think about this. I mean, when was the last time you saw a cop with a, uh, pulling over a cop car? You know, maybe he rolled through a— st- Pretty I, I, rare. We, we work right out here next to a, a corner, and police roll through this stop sign just like everybody else rolls through this stop sign. And I've never seen a police officer pull over a police officer. Now, I'm not saying they're rich or connected. Well, they're, there was they're that connected. one cop who pulled over the cop well, down well, in that, Miami. He was going 120. Right. <laughs> and then the cops came, and then the buddies of the guy who got pulled over— came after the female uh, state trooper who had pulled the guy over. So there were some pretty serious consequences like threatening her and intimidating her. Yeah, this is what happens when a police officer pulls off a police yeah. officer. So, Dale, any other thoughts you want to share? No, but keep it up, fellas. Keep Thanks it for up. the call. Thanks. I do appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. If you're turning to the law to find a moral code for yourself— You've made a huge mistake. Turn around and go back. Right, because you've turned over your moral uh, decision-making to uh, to thugs and to the friends of thugs, which are the uh, the politicians. In this case, these people are, and, and as was pointed out by Dale there, a lot of them are attorneys. And come on. Right. 
Well, I mean, I think that the government of the people, by the people, for the people has been replaced by the by government. the attorneys. Well, government of the lawyers, by the, the lobbyists, for the corporations. That's pretty much it. Now, and I don't want to use the term corporation to vilify anybody in business. What I'm saying is is that there's I'll some- vilify anyone in business who, uh, who goes to the government to try to curry favor for themselves over their competition. Yeah, well, it's hard to argue that. Which is the re- isn't that the reason why government? Well, I guess there's two reasons why corporations will uh, will work with the state. One, they're pr- trying to protect themselves from the aggression of the state, or two, they're trying to use the aggression of the state to protect themselves from the competition of mm-hmm. others. So, and and while I respect and understand why a, a corporation would want to protect themselves from the aggressions of the state, I find that. When a corporation begins lobbying for its own benefit in that to protect itself, inevitably it seems like they come around to coming up with ideas as to how to protect their business by the use of the government, by crafting laws and lobbying politicians. So, you know, if a gov- if a company doesn't change uh, into the kind of company that is then using the state for its own purposes, okay, fine. Well, yeah, but, but oftentimes they can't compete if they don't. Mm. That's really sort of the the, the 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 arena that they've been put into is is that they don't turn into this rapacious organization that uses lawyers rather than producing uh, yeah. produces just paper and and attacks people through the court systems, then they're going to lose in many cases. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. We're going all the way across the sea to Norway in, uh, well, over in Europe. Hey, Al, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Ian, how's it going? Good, man. What's on your mind tonight? Hey, man, I was uh, watching a crazy video where Mark ran away or yelled at you and you shut off his bike, you meanie. Yeah. And I was thinking, though, don't you think it's a little silly to mix agorism and activism so to define agorism uh agorism is sort of this outside the system uh, underground operation of business almost although it could be above ground it could, but but by definition it has to be outside of the system you don't ask permission to be an agorist so what were you saying though but uh, mixing act activism with agorism is a what i'm sorry i think it's kind of dumb you dumb. don't do an illegal company and then stand there and go, take me, take me, police, you're bad. Come get me. If you're going to be an agorist, you got to be kind of sneaky, don't you think? Well, I don't know. I mean, that tends to be how agorism has been done. And by the way, Rich Paul, um, who is the agorist in question here who was selling cannabis, wasn't uh, asking people to take him. He was selling cannabis quietly and was not doing it as an instance of... You're not shocking. You're saying, take me, take me. Right, oh. so um, agorism is is differentiated from, say, civil disobedience, where civil disobedience is kind of, uh, you know, you do something with the intention of getting arrested. Agorism is doing something with the intention of sort of staying under the radar. I have to agree with you, Al. I don't think so. I think that there's, I don't think there's a requirement that you stay under the radar as an agorist. Part. Stand by, Al, if you want to continue the discussion here. I think it's just that most agorists do stay under the radar because it's safer that way. I think you could totally do agorism as civil disobedience. I don't think they're exclusive. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. What good is a big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. 
the successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com so you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. My name is Angel Rach. I'm a mother of two teenage children, and I fought all the way to the Supreme Court for the right to use the medicine that saved my life. I've been permanently disabled for 10 years with an inoperable brain tumor, wasting syndrome, and several other serious conditions. For four years, I was in a wheelchair in so much pain, I couldn't even hug my kids. The hardest part was looking in their eyes and seeing how much they were suffering because of my medical condition. The medicine that gave me my life back and gave my kids their mom back was cannabis, also known as medical marijuana. With medical marijuana, I can walk, maintain my weight, and I can be a mom. Without it, my doctors believe that I would die. To learn more about medical marijuana, contact Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or on the web at mpp.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Toll-free number tonight, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And we invite you to the website at freetalklive.com. All the features are free on the site. You can enjoy them on us. We've got a webcam. You can watch and listen and more at cam.freetalklive.com. If you care about online privacy, check out ProXPN. It's a global uh, virtual private network, and they encrypt your online data. Everything leaving and entering your computer is encrypted by ProXPN, meaning that your Internet service provider is no longer they no longer have any clue what you're doing online. Right now, if you're not using ProXPN, your ISP is probably logging every website you visit, logging every search term that you enter, and keeping those logs for up to five years in some cases. You can prevent that from happening by going right now to proxpn.com slash FTL and downloading their software. It's available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android devices. If you're a Linux user, setup's a little bit different for Linux, but it's pretty simple. You can get connected through ProXPN and get 20% off of the price of their premium account by using discount code FTL20. That's code FTL20 for the lifetime you will get that 20%. The lifetime of your account, you'll get the 20% off deal. And if you buy the annual plan, that breaks the price down to $5 a month for this incredible privacy protection. Plus, when you sign up for their premium account, you get the ability to privately torrent. You can... Uh, you have unlimited bandwidth and servers, different servers around the world to which you can connect. ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits, and you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. You've got nothing to lose but your privacy, so go and take action at ProXPN.com slash FTL and get started with ProXPN. That's ProXPN.com slash FTL and use promo code FTL20 and save that 20% for the lifetime of your account. Tom is, or not Tom, Al rather, is in Norway, and he had called in about this idea of agorism, which, just to kind of define my understanding of it, Agorism is to do business 
in the absence of state regulations to uh, to ignore those state regulations intentionally to- with the intent of uh, sort of being free. The idea is is that we will compete our way in the marketplace, uh, you know, beyond the necessity for an overarching hierarchical government. Some would go on to say that agorism must also include the intention of destroying the state eventually, uh, or replacing the state with those agorist businesses. Could so, be. so like you know, going out and fixing potholes, for instance, as an agorist road crew. Can't imagine you're going to make any money doing that. Order to compete with the state. Uh, would be, in theory, an agorist thing as well. But I don't think you have to have the intention to destroy the state. I, I would generally label any sort of underground economy as agorist by its nature. By its nature. But I think that in order to do what the agorists say they want to do, which is replace and supplant the state out there and you know make it so we don't have this one-size-fits-all monopoly that we call the state anymore, I, which is a goal I support— in order to do that, at some point, the agorists are going to have to come out of the closet. Not the true. businesses are going to have to be known about publicly in order for those businesses to get the market share that's necessary to actually replace the, the services of the state. So far, the winning lottery ticket of the agorist uh, mindset is Bitcoin. Show me the guy who created Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto is a pseudonym for a person who... We don't know who that is, so you do not. You Great. you can try create... opening a restaurant as an anonymous individual. Do you think it would really make a difference if you opened a restaurant without some kind of government licensing? I mean, you're not going to disrupt the state for a moment. It's um, I mean, it's it's a non-revolutionary act. Okay, try running an agorist road crew as uh, you know somebody who's anonymous. Yeah, couldn't couldn't do it. Somebody's got to go fill those potholes in the street. And those people will be targeted. I'm no same, fan of a fan of agorism. Okay. In, in the same way that the some of the businesses who are operating Bitcoin businesses are being targeted by the state as well. Some of them, some of them are operating and they're being targeted, but they can't come after them because they don't know who they are. Al is back with us here in Norway. I wanted to get your, your thoughts back on here, Al, and give you a little bit more of a chance to respond. So go ahead. Ian, agorism is vital in places such as Russia or any place else that has a corrupt government. It has- independently of a government to even work. Without without agorism or the black market, the Russians would have starved during the last century. Oh, and I fully sure support it. hell agorism. couldn't just come out against the government, man. You couldn't go against the Stasi. You didn't uh-huh. you didn't go, hey, take me, take me. If you're gonna work the black market, you gotta kind of keep it on the down low. I agree. You cannot combine activism and agorism. And get anywhere. Do one or the other. Well, I agree. I mean, you're going to get shut down if you go public. Uh, Look, I totally agree with you. If you want to make money. It's kind of a pro-government thing anyway. What's a pro-government thing? What? Activism. To do activism, you have to admit the government has the power. Activism to an agorist is just a distraction. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I totally understand where you're coming from. If you want to be profitable and you want to be around for a long time, then don't go public with your agorism. No doubt about it. Um, but at the same time, if you ever want to defeat the state and uh, you know replace its services, how are you going to do that without being known publicly? Well, you can do it and die, I guess. But uh, an evil government, you can't do activism against an evil government. But and isn't I think the purpose of agorism... Isn't the purpose of agorism to replace the state eventually, replace their services with uh, private alternatives? Or, or substitute it or keep people alive during the really dark times. Thanks for the call tonight, Al. I appreciate hearing from you. Look, if, if all agorism is is just the black market, then that's cool. I'm fine with that. But that's not what the agorists say. Okay. Not what some agorists say. Well, there's okay. So agorism was this uh, concept that was created by Sam Konkin the Third, as I understand it. This is my understanding of the history of it. And he wrote a he wrote some sort of treatise about this, and it's sort of held up as this icon of what agorism is supposed to be. Usually by people who have gotten sick of working inside the political system for change. And uh, and it's held up as this plot of how do we get from here today with this government that we have to a situation where we have a, a consensual arrangement, where there is not a one-size-fits-all monopoly that rules over all of us and decides how we should live our lives and what we should do to run our businesses and all kind of micro minutia of detail of life. 
uh, to to get to that point. That's what supposedly agorism is, like this revolutionary theory of how to get from point A to point B. Seems non-revolutionary to me. Well, I'm not impressed by it or anything like that, Mark. I don't I think know. that agorism is like the solution to freedom, but I don't oppose the idea of doing business without government approval. I fully support the idea of it. I just, Same here. Uh, you know, what sounded to me like Alan Norway was suggesting that agorism was different from what, say, Sam Konkin would have suggested that it was. That agorism is just being in the black market, selling products and services underground. And if that's all it were, if that's all it were, then yes, I would say stay quiet, agorists, do your business and make your money. But if you want to ever replace the services of the state, which was what I understood agorism to be, if you want to replace the government police, you're going to have to come out of the closet at some point. You're going to have to offer services like in uh, D- in uh, Detroit, Threat Management Center. Great example of a competing service to the government that but provides not protection. Agorists. It's just, I mean, they're operating. They're operating legally. Well, I don't know what sort of uh, government permission slips that they would need there in Detroit. I imagine it involves, an, uh, at the very least, involves an IRS form, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Seems unlikely that that would be the one industry in the United States that you didn't have to pay income tax on. But the, I was uh, just giving you an example of yep. uh, the Threat Management Agreed. Center is this private company that you can hire to protect you, to, to protect your business, protect your home, to protect you personally. And they provide services in absence of the, the state services. The Detroit police have been shutting down operations. They've been closing office hours. They've been uh, re- restricting office hours. They made it, made it in a few different districts there that you can't even go into the office during non-daylight hours and report anything. Yeah, the cops, the cops don't come out at night. They're not working at night. So people are, are handling things differently now. If there's a problem, they deal with it themselves. People are arming up in Detroit. They're, uh, they're arming up with shotguns in their homes. And they're they're putting a stop to the criminals right there in the moment, rather than calling the police. That's a good thing. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but you know, you can't offer a competing protection service quietly, at least to any level of effectiveness, because at some point you're going to have to protect someone from something. And then when you protect that someone from, let's say, an, an aggressive intruder, you may end up having the body of an aggressive intruder on your hands. And you know, that thing tends to complicate matters yeah, at, at some point. point. If you uh, provide protection services, you're definitely going to come up against the people that believe they have a monopoly on that. Then they will probably do something to you that you won't like. So uh, anyway, the toll-free number here is 855-453. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. On at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait, others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, and parasites to non-detectable. 
Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. Hey! That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Toll free number 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Mark. And you can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. Lots of different ways to do that. You can actually create the content of the website. What you see on the front page was put there by listeners like you. We had nothing to do with it. All we did was provide the ability uh, for that to be done on our website. And it's also thanks to reddit.com because uh, we're using subreddit to kind of power the front page of the Free Talk Live site, which means you can submit content. You can vote on content. You can vote up what you like, down what you don't like. And get interactive for free at freetalklive.com. My Magic Mud is a tooth cleaning remedy. Now, it's holistic. It has no poisons or toxins in it. It removes plaque and detoxifies the mouth of bacteria. And how it does this is it's made of um, the activated, activated charcoal and benzonite clay. And I've used it many times. I really love this. I just recently was at the dentist, and she commented uh, you know, about my teeth and asked me what I was doing. And I told her about my magic mud. She actually wrote it down. Now, this was the uh, the hygienist, not the dentist, that did this. But um, it was it, the ingredients in my magic mud are used as a dietary supplement, so it doesn't matter if you happen to um, swallow it. But what I found most amazing right off the bat is this is a really great whitener. Not that kind of chemically whitening thing where you have to leave it on for 20 minutes and God knows what it's doing. This is an all-natural whitener, and it'll get your teeth in four applications, my teeth were as white as they're supposed to be. Uh, they were as clean as they would be from a cleaning at the dentist, and it was it's amazing. Now, all the all the surfaces that you can hit with a brush, obviously, they're still in the cracks that uh, you can't quite get in there all the way. But I think it's amazing. Um, it is now it's they call it my magic mud for a reason. It's black. When you brush it, it's amazing how this black mm -hmm. powder can. Um, turn your teeth so white. And it's also really great for cleaning your teeth. My feet, teeth have never felt cleaner. That gunk you feel like you have when you wake up in the morning, I don't have that anymore from using my magic mud. And I assume it's because the little bacteria guys just aren't as prolific as they used to be in my mouth. And I'm going to use this stuff forever. I think it's great. It was created by Jessica Arman. She's a liberty-loving homeschool mother of three. And she will be at Pork Fest this year along with us. That's the Porcupine Freedom Festival. And there'll be some jars for sale there in Niagara Valley. And she'll even be probably letting people 
try it out. So if you want to purchase a jar today, go to MyMagicMud.com. On the website, you can listen to an interview with biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole, where he explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. Again, it's MyMagicMud.com. Take my word for it. Take uh, Dr. Cole's word for it. Go check him out, MyMagicMud.com. Coming up, a man has been ordered to send his daughter to government school or else. Uh, we will tell you about that story. Uh, Mark has that to share with us. But first, continuing with your calls and thoughts, we go to Gary listening in Virginia. You're on Free Talk. Excuse me, West Virginia. Gary, you're on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. Go ahead. Uh I just wonder if, if either one of you are aware, I'm sure you are, of all the regulations that President Obama's put on the coal industry. I mean, I am kind of partial living in West Virginia, and coal is our state. Does mm-hmm. he not understand that all these regulations that he is putting on the industry, that the grid will not survive without coal? I mean, I'm sure he likes to flip on his light when he goes in the bedroom at night. I just wonder if I could get you guys' thoughts on that. I think, um, so coal is one of those things where you can't do the research on the internet very successfully because people are so entrenched on either side. Um, I would say that, uh, that, you know, the fact is, is that yes, uh, coal is most of the power in the United States, but I, you know, the other side of it, um, and obviously people need to be able to sell their items. If you're, if you're interfering with people selling whatever it is, their resource that they have, you know, that's not the government's business to do that. However, if I use something to power my house that pollutes the atmosphere, um, I'm not taking responsibility for the whatever it is that I'm putting out there. It's going into the air. It's going into the commons. It's moving across people's land and that kind of thing. And I can't tell. I've looked and looked. They say clean coal isn't clean, but then other people say it is. And this is the thing that I really find difficult with coal is, is it pollution or isn't? And I don't know. Well, it's burning cleaner now than it's ever. I mean, yeah. you know, with all the resources we have, it's, it's cleaner now than it's ever been. And nothing's perfect in this world, I'm sure. But if you don't have, you know, if, if they do take this away, what do you think the prices on natural gas are going to be? Oh, man. Yeah, they're going to jump. So is that what is I mean, I mean is that what they're threatening to do is to eliminate the coal oh, industry? Oh, that's exactly what uh, what's, uh, you know, this well, is exactly what's going on. I want to hear it from Gary. Go ahead, Gary. He said it himself, sir. He said, if you build these coal-burning plants... We will bankrupt you," he said. "That that's a quote hmm. from the president. Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just I just want you guys' thoughts. I know you're honest, and I appreciate your thoughts on it. But maybe I just don't see us making it without it. But all the regulations make it really, really tough on a working man. I heard you, brother, and I'm sorry to hear about uh, that happening to you. I hope that you can continue on in in your chosen well, but field. It Though you said yourself, electricity is is you know it's, it's powered by coal. A lot of the United States is, and that affects you guys too, and and himself. I just don't think he realizes what he's doing. Well, it's probably a political move. I mean, uh, he probably you know has friends in different power industries or whatever who want to see coal punished, and that way, there as you pointed out, maybe natural gas would benefit. Uh, as a result of that. But, yeah, what about the infrastructure? How will it change fast enough to the, accommodate the, the new regulations? The people who are putting these regulations in place, the people who are going to, that are pay, essentially paying um, to have this happen, those folks, they don't care if their electricity bill doubles. It's mm-hmm. not, They're not the average guy, right? Um, that is a great thought. That is a great thought. And you think they even realize or know what the price of gas costs? They got a free gas card anyway. Yep. Good thoughts, Gary. I appreciate your call tonight. Thanks for making it. And good luck, man. 855-450-FREE. It really has to be uncomfortable when the government sets its sights on your business. And apparently they're setting their sights on the coal business right now, at least at the federal level. Of course, that's just one example. They're also likely setting their sights on all kinds of other businesses for other reasons. We talked about how they're attacking porn stars now for having bank accounts. I mean, so anything that the the people in power don't like... They will legislate against, and the the people that work for those industries be damned. They don't care about you. They don't care about your job. They don't care about your mortgage. They don't care about your family. They care about making political points and you know scoring votes. At the same time, you would agree that if there is a uh, you know something that uh, you know that you burn and it releases particulate matter into the atmosphere and uh, you know pollutes the air, that you're responsible for that, right? 
You would be responsible, I think, if you were hurting people. Yeah, if you can prove that uh, somebody is poisoning you or polluting the air that you're breathing and that you can show that it's their fault that you are sick in That's some That's what the other way. side's claim is, or at least they're valid, the most valid of their claims. The claim is that coal is killing people is the idea? Well, I don't but know if it's killing people. people sick. It's, it's, it's uh, polluting the atmosphere is the idea, is, is mm -hmm. that coal can't burn clean is the idea. Now- I, I don't know. I'm not an expert in this arena. I can't put a flag on either side of this issue because the people that argue with these points, they argue them articulately. And, uh, you know, how, how, is an, how is an individual to know? There's just some things that you can't know by going on the Internet and taking a look. If you want to uh, decide whether or not they're spraying things from the skies from airplanes and um, they're called chemtrails, you're not going to be able to find that out on the Internet. If you want to believe, find out whether or not 9-11 uh, was an inside job, you can't go to the Internet and find out the truth. I don't know. I Look, I like having clean water. I like having clean air. No doubt about that. And I also like the idea of people who are polluting being able to be held responsible for their pollutants rather than being protected by the state in a lot of cases. Like, you know, the BP oil spill, basically the state protected BP from any significant amount of uh, cleanup costs or anything like that. So I, at the, but at the same time, so while I appreciate a clean environment, at the same time, I also feel like the earth, mother nature is this really powerful thing Resilient, and has sure. a very good ability to clean itself on its own. And so I'm not really concerned with burning things very much because fire happens naturally. F whole forests will, you know, catch a blaze uh, naturally. It's a natural process of regrowth, if you will. Uh, the, yeah, you know, can the you imagine what forest fires look like before sort of the uh, the proliferation of man? Um, you know, with nobody putting these things out, they could have swept continents. Yeah, and, and it's very important for uh, for forests to burn sometimes because of the whole regrowth process yeah. and what's done there. And uh, that's not a bad thing. Sure, that's going to release smoke and soot and things like that into the air. How about volcanoes? <laughs> you want to talk about uh, making things pretty bad pretty as far dirty. as the air is concerned. They're about as dirty as they get. Yeah, I mean, when a volcano erupts, that the ash goes a long, long way away from that volcano and makes things pretty uncomfortable in certain areas for people. I mean, look... That's not cool, but you can't do anything about it. And the Earth has, the Earth has managed to, to weather these things over time. Toll-free numbers, 855-453. So I can't say I'm too concerned about the continued burning of coal, especially if it's becoming cleaner over time, as our caller had suggested. More on the way here. You can take control of the airwaves. Hour number three is up next. And the father who's in trouble for not sending his daughter to government school. We'll tell you about it coming up. Free Talk Live. The year is 1636, and Commander Eddie Cantrell is on a mission to find oil in the Caribbean. But how will he contend with Spanish governors, hostile natives, and Dutch pirates? 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies, is the latest book in the New York Times, Amazon, and Wall Street Journal best-selling Ring of Fire alternative history series from Bain Books. 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies by Eric Flint and Charles Gannon. Another great book from Bain. Get it now wherever books are sold. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, June 6, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,253. Silver opened at 1906, and Bitcoin is trading at $658. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. Support also comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Online, accountableauthority.com. In the news, the Los Angeles Police Department acquired two drones this week, enabling them to move closer towards using drones for manhunts, standoffs, and other tactical events. The drones were given to LAPD free of charge from the Seattle Police Department. Each remote-controlled copter is about three feet in width, has three rotors, and is equipped to carry a video camera. CBS reports the FAA must grant the LAPD with a certificate to use the drone. The application process is still in the preliminary stages. A 14-year-old female San Marcos student confided in her parents that she was asked how far she was willing to go sexually during a sex education lesson. Woodland Park Middle School reportedly asked students to stand under signs labeled smiled at, hugged, kissed, above the waist, below the waist, and all the way. That's according to a report from 10 News. School officials defended the dating lesson, saying the goal was to discuss what is appropriate for dating at the middle school level. Students felt embarrassed because they thought the teacher wanted to know how far each would go sexually. The school's principal says the lesson has been in use for several years now. Pakistani officials are calling CIA drone strikes illegal and a criminal act that needs to be investigated. On Thursday, a Pakistani court ordered police to investigate murder allegations against senior CIA officer Jonathan Banks. Human rights campaigners say the move opens up the doorway for other cases to be brought against the U.S. Reports show more than 60% of drone strikes target private homes in the middle of the night, often killing innocent families in their sleep. On Wednesday night, a U.S. drone strike killed three men in Yemen. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, BraveNewBookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, June 6, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. One year after Edward Snowden blew the whistle on government spying, a digital rights group said Thursday it has identified steps that major tech companies and individuals can take to avoid surveillance. The nonprofit Fight for the Future has launched its Reset the Net campaign to identify steps that can be taken to protect online privacy. According to Al Jazeera, the campaign called on large tech companies to encrypt their websites and is promoting easy-to-use tools that individuals can use to shield their phones and computers from NSA spying. The world's second-largest mobile phone company, Vodafone, revealed that government agencies in six unidentified countries use its network to listen to and record customers' calls, showing the scale of telecom eavesdropping around the world. Reuters reports the United States and Britain both came in for global scrutiny and criticism after Edward Snowden disclosed their vast phone, email, and Internet surveillance operations. But Vodafone, which has 400 million customers in countries across Europe, Africa, and Asia, said in its disclosure report released Friday that countries in its reach are using similar practices. Federal prosecutor Harold Range announced an investigation over alleged snooping on Angela Merkel's mobile phone by the NSA in a case that has soured relations between Germany and the U.S. Range told broadcaster ARD on Wednesday that questioning the chancellor was not on the agenda. He added that there were also no plans at the moment to question former NSA contractor-turned-whistleblower Edward Snowden, who leaked the evidence about the mass surveillance program, including that of the spying on Merkel's phone by the NSA. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at MassAppealInc.com. And support comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. 
This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, June 6, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. From 1941, when an amoeba became the first single-celled organism to play professional baseball, to 1794, when Thomas Jefferson more than likely did something historically significant. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On May 25, 1925, Tennessee teacher John T. Scopes was formally indicted for teaching the theory of evolution in a public school after a monkey called to the stand failed to turn into a human. Sir, you have been on the witness stand for a full three hours now. And in this time, we haven't seen you lose any of your hair or shed your tail. Can you at least articulate a single justifiable reason why Mr. Darwin's theory should even be mentioned in our nation's classrooms? And on May 27th, 1995, actor Christopher Reeve came in last place in a horseback riding event. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the third hour of this live Saturday edition of the program. As always, we'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The number is brought to you by ProXPN. We also have Skype, and surprisingly, no one has availed themselves of it tonight. It's there for you. Username's lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. It'll be approved. It'd probably take me 10, 15 minutes to approve it, depending on where we are on a show segment. doesn't take long. Versus the break. And then uh, after you're approved, you'll be easily able to get on the phones with us to talk about what you want. So join us here and get on the lines. Like Dana in Keene, New Hampshire, listening to our uh, affiliate in Keene, WKBK. Good evening, gentlemen. Dana, welcome. You're on the air. Hey, listen, you know, you were talking about lawyers earlier. I'm a big student of the Founding Fathers, particularly Benjamin Franklin and and Thomas Jefferson and you know, a few others, but uh, Franklin, uh, he wanted it. Of course, he couldn't enact it because 30% of the founding fathers, 40% were lawyers. But <laughs> he thought to have a to have a, a solid system, and of course, I mean, he designed the whole system of senators and uh, and um, congressmen. But he wanted it written in a law that a lawyer could not hold public office. And I tell you what, it's. It's too bad we could have done something like that because well, there. You I'm sure you've heard about the Thirteenth Amendment, the mysterious kind of disappearing Thirteenth Amendment. I vaguely heard of it. I don't remember exactly the details, but it's I an what, interesting what curiosity. About. I mean, as somebody who has an appreciation for the idea of not having lawyers in the government, you might want to take a look at it. It's it seems like a conspiracy theory when you first at first blush, but there seems to be evidence for this that uh, that at one time there was a Thirteenth Amendment that had actually been passed. Uh, that said that if one had a, <clears throat> excuse me, if one had a title of nobility, as it is called, like Esquire, which is usually the title right. that is given sure. to a, an attorney, that one could not hold public office. And right. apparently that actually existed as an amendment to the Constitution and somehow was mysteriously wiped away in the past. It's uh, it's pretty fascinating. I look into that, yeah, because he was totally against lawyers. And you look at all the corruption and all the, uh, I'm not going to say all of it, but probably 75% of it. It's all re- re- related to lawyers and uh, their Well, it makes sense, laws. right? Yeah. I mean, they write laws for their own benefit so they can get business. I mean, every new law is new clients, and they're walking through their front door. And you can also sort of look, uh, because That's there right. are 49 states that uh, pay, you know, that the that pay enough money that I think one can live. I, I should check the numbers on that. But the fact is, New Hampshire has the largest legislative body of any of the states in the union. They pay $100 a year to people to be in there, uh, to be a, a state rep. And 100 bucks doesn't go very far. So what you d- don't have in New Hampshire are a bunch of lawyers as representatives. And it's consequently, right. New Hampshire has been rated three out of the five times the Mercatus Center has uh, rated the freest states in the union. Mer- New Hampshire has been rated number one. And they've been in the top five every single time, all five of those times. I hear that the next time they're going to be number one again, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So, I mean, you can see what happens when you get the lawyers out of of government. You have a more free people. You do. You do, because lawyer, it's like anything there. It's a big business with them. It's it's all about money, and it's all about about that, and it's just they're corrupt. And I'm not saying all lawyers, but— No, not all of them. I think we have a— 
yeah, we'd have a we'd have a much much better system here. If, if somehow if, we could have had that enacted, you know. If uh, if if the legislative bodies were full of radio talk show hosts, you'd probably see a lot more laws that focused on building the business for radio talk show hosts. And it's <laughs> obvious that if you put one concentrate one particular uh, you know class of people, one one particular profession in there, that the laws are going to focus in a way that benefit that profession. You know, this wouldn't be a bad idea right. to propose, Dana. I mean, as far as like New Hampshire, it's pretty easy, and you are here in Keene. Uh, it's pretty easy to, I mean, it, in comparison to other states, to get legislation written by average people actually passed. So would it be possible? I'm sure the attorneys would sue and take it to court. <laughs> but would it be possible to yeah. pass a, you know, a statute in New Hampshire saying, you know, as of 2015, the beginning of 2015, all lawyers working for the, the state or whatever, working uh, as represent state reps or state senators, must resign their positions. Or at the end of their next term, they uh, they must resign their positions. I'd like to see that happen, well, and it, it could be possible. I would, too. I would, too, because, you know, it's, it's the same way with the, uh, with the Founding Fathers enacted. They, they, never, they never envisioned a, a society where, um, and I'm not saying that's all lawyers, but where an individual goes to Washington and they sit down there for – longer than i've been alive you know i mean 40 plus years it's it's insanity thanks and dana i really appreciate your call tonight i appreciate hearing from you at toll free number 855 450 free i'm not even horrified with how long a representative might stay in office that's not the most the scariest part to me the fact is is that um i, I don't think that there's how many representatives and and senators lose the numbers well into the 90 percentiles of uh, them winning the incumbent wins more than 90 percent of the time mm -hmm. they don't generally do not lose when they leave they leave to go get jobs in in the private market to lobby Congress again. Yep. They, they they take higher paying jobs. It's basically an audition for uh, graft and corruption. <laughs> I mean, it's just disgusting what goes on there. I, I'm not even. I'm actually impressed with the ones that stay longer because they didn't take this gold and juicy plum of a sweet pork be barrel. Oh, money. I don't know about that, Mark. You just don't know what they're taking. It's just not obvious. I mean, it's obvious when a government bureaucrat leaves the state yes, and then they get hired by Monsanto or something like that. Because usually some press release goes out and somebody will pick it up in the independent media and say, oh, look, Senator so-and-so is now working for Monsanto. What a surprise. But, last last year he you know put this bill in and that bill in. But there's not going to be as much hubbub if Senator so-and-so stays as Senator so-and-so and quietly makes deals behind the scenes that funnel all kinds of money into his bank account. You know, that's not going to be as, as noticeable. You know, I wouldn't, if I was a rep, I wouldn't do anything that was sort of illegal. I mean, a lot of them do these, uh, they've written rules where they can do uh, insider trading, essentially. They know the information before we do. They've allow themselves to do that. It used to be against the law. They say, mm. ah, we can't. Ugh, that's just a little too tough on us. We're yeah. going to have to be able to do some insider trading, and even though the rest of you can't. Um, uh, you know, I it seems unlikely that they're just taking outright bribes too often because they don't have to. Let's go to Ryan in D.C. I'm not going to speculate on that point, Mark. Ryan, right. you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Hey, you're on the air. Go ahead. Okay, I, I just want to let you know, first off, I'm a conservative guy. I consider myself a conservative uh, libertarian. Uh, I appreciate your show, and I, I agree with about half of what you're saying. Only half? Uh, <laughs> Uh, only about half. That's pretty good, though. That's okay. pretty good. Wow. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm a police officer in D.C., and I will tell you, even oh, working wow. uh, uh, drug and violence-stricken areas, I, I don't see uh, I don't see your claim um, come to fruition as far as, as normal citizens committing uh, felonies every day. I just don't see that. I think, for the most part, uh, a good portion of people are pretty good and law-abiding citizens, however you want to, however you want to uh, call that, but you know, the the thing with, with pot, I, I do have to agree with you on that, and uh, I think we've gone down the, such a, a terrible road of, of uh, misunderstanding, uh, and, and it is brought, brought, uh, brought on by the government from a lack of control. And, uh, you know, I, I have no problem with legalizing it and taxing it and, and 
help getting the deficit problem in this welfare state that the country's created uh, underhand here. Now, as a police officer, you're probably handling things like, uh, you know, the, the real felonies, the ones that people uh, are, you know, getting all the time. I don't know. That's I'd, what he's thinking about, uh, likely, when he heard, thinks likely. of felonies. Likely. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't read this book, Three Felonies a Day. That's why I said it's a claim by an author. I really probably should read the Cliff's Notes of it just so that I can see what the author is making the claim on. But let me ask you this. I've got a good friend, a person that I know, I've known for a long time. Um, when I hurt myself badly, uh, that person took me into their medicine cabinet and gave me some out-of-date oxycodones. Did that person commit a felony? Uh, I mean, by the law, uh, I mean, it depends on which which state you reside in. Well, I'm certainly not giving um, any information that I have. <laughs> but um, no, 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 basically, I'm yes. You, I'm not asking you. No, no, no. Basically, no, yes. I mean, if it's a, if it's a felony in that state, yeah. I mean, I get, it would be, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How many people in America do you think have out-of-date medications in their medicine cabinet? I don't know, Most? hundreds of millions, or tens of millions. There how many go. people in there's America? A, there's one felony. Further <laughs> than that, further than that, how many people in America have shared a prescription medication with a friend or family member because they wanted to help them out? There's another felony. But if you want to hang on, Ryan, I want to continue. And I want to, to, oh, I, oh he dropped off the line. I would have loved to have continued. Look, if you uh, if you work for law enforcement, I think you've got an interesting perspective, and we love it when you call in. So feel yep. free to call again. More coming up. Travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed With brain implants and artificial gravity A scientific genius and his clever assistant Set out on an adventure through the solar system On a secret mission to find the key To access new frontiers and save liberty QuantumVibe.com From Big Head Press Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world, so I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. 
It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Hey, we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Our username there is lrn.fm. And join us online, of course, at freetalklive.com. Lots of areas on the website for uh, with which you may interact with other Free Talk Live listeners and more. Go to freetalklive.com. Need focus? Are you feeling fatigued? Trying to get that extra edge when it counts? There's so much going on at once in our lives these days. Every moment, it seems like we can't keep track of everything, and it's easy to get tired. Don't you wish there was something that could get you out of the rut and give you the focus you need and help you get things done? Well, there may be. Research modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall. So you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about how modafinil from modup.net is making the difference in their work, giving them that critical edge that they're looking for. Modup.net, M-O-D-U-P.net. Check into it for yourself. They've got fast delivery worldwide for guaranteed high-quality modafinil at an amazing price. And in addition, you get a discount if you pay with Bitcoin, 33% off. If you pay with Bitcoin, these guys support the Bitcoin community at modup.net. And to make the deal even better, use code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. Again, code FTL at modup.net. And remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show and modup.net ships worldwide. It is your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. So go and check it out at modup.net and don't forget our discount code. Or I guess bonus code would be the right term here. Uh, FTL to get those 10 extra tablets at modup.net. All right, let's go to the phones here and bring back Dave in Poughkeepsie, New York. Welcome back, Dave. Uh, you you Hi. were you were banned previously from the show and you stayed off the air with us for a for a period of time and now you're unbanned. So uh, so welcome back to Free Talk Live. Do I have everyone's attention now? <laughs> you sure do, radio buddy. You sure do. You've got thousands of people listening to your voice, Dave. I am a little mad. Now, I don't know That's if new. anybody knows this or not, but I am a, a big WWE you know, fan. I watch Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but Seth Rollins turned heel on The Shield. He went from The Shield, I don't know, because this past Monday night... Now, Triple heel's H a bad guy, right? Something. In wrestling, the heel's yes. a bad guy? How does yes. that, I mean, I, I have to say, I haven't watched wrestling in a while. I mean, I've watched it off and on, just like here and there. I'll be at somebody's house they've got wrestling on. And I find it enjoyable whenever it comes on. I find it to be entertaining. I mean, they call it World Wrestling Entertainment now, and I think it's an accurate thing. It's it's well produced. Uh, it's The writing is, is fun to kind of watch and, and listen to and watch the things they do on, on stage. Now that we know uh, Glenn Jacobs, uh, Kane, um, I, I have somebody to root for, too. Yeah, it's true. Glenn Jacobs actually a listener of Free Talk Live. So, Dave, uh, how does someone become a heel when when they were a good guy previously? What what was it that changed this guy from a good guy to a heel? Triple H had said that he always wins. Now, I don't know how how he got to him or whatever, but this past Monday night on Raw, Evolution came down. It was just him and Randy Orton because Dave Batista had left. He went back to making movies or whatever, and at the end of Raw. It was just Triple H and Randy Orton and the Shield were up on up on the ring, and they were all ready to fight. But then Seth Rollins grabs it. You know, he steps out. He grabs a chair and he smacks both Reigns 
and Dean Ambrose in the back. He starts wailing on them. Now, who was the guy that he, changed into a heel? I missed that, that detail. Who's the heel now? Seth Rollins is the heel. So what's the motivation for him going bad? Does he get a pay bump? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I was watching SmackDown uh, this, on, on Friday just, just yesterday, and he said he doesn't have to answer to anybody I but see. himself. So he's just he's why. just snapped. Now the thing that I'm concerned with, Dave, is that you know not many people know what's going on in the the wrestling universe. I don't know half of the names that you just uh, spewed out, so you know it's not particularly relevant to uh, people's lives. I think that it's a phenomenon. I think a lot of people love wrestling. I mean, it's a huge. Uh, I mean, to use the term, can can you call it a sport? I mean, is it is it possible to call wrestling a sport even though it's staged? I like a phenomenon. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, it's a sport, it's entertainment, but like, you know, I always, I watch it like, you know, Monday night, Friday night, but I just want to know why did Seth Rollins go, go from a Who's, good guy to a bad guy? I don't know why either. It's writing. I mean, it's just, they, yeah. they, the reason is, is because somebody who writes these stories, um, set, thought that it would be a good idea. And, um, you know, n- nobody calls up and asks why uh, Ross on Friends, uh, you know, didn't keep a secret. <laughs> I mean, it's a story, Dave. <laughs> there you go. Dave, good to hear from you, man. I appreciate the call tonight. Yep, Toll free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. I mean, it's, it's, it's writing, and uh, you keep things interesting by throwing in twists, right? So the guy who was a good guy all of a sudden goes bad and hits somebody in the back with a chair. I mean, that's it's a surprise. Yep. Well, I mean, it's a plot twist. Exactly. you got to keep it going. I uh, I have to say, yeah, I think it's very, very entertaining. And uh, Glenn Jacobs, of course, really smart guy. Like oh, yeah. he's, he's He's got the body of a big gorilla. Yeah, he looks like a Neanderthal in a lot of ways. <laughs> no, this is a very, very smart man. This is the guy that uh, plays Kane. Yes. And... Um, you know, it's he just you know he just takes up a lot of space, a lot of genetics, a lot of hard work. Yeah, he's um, got a duck when he goes through doorways yep. and things like that. But, good, uh, good family man, super who nice guy. And reads Rothbard and uh, Mises for entertainment. So share your thoughts here, toll free at eight fifty five four fifty free. And he's also a uh, Free State Project participant uh, and a free talk and a free talk live amplifier. It's true, he's one of our matching uh, amp contributors. It, you know, good time to talk about this. The Free Talk Live AMP program. You can become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. You can sign up for five bucks a month. And Glenn Jacobs, amongst five or so other people, there are five or six, I think, total matching amplifiers here. These are people who are ponying up money to match the dollars that you contribute to the Free Talk Live AMP program. So if you sign up at five bucks a month at amp.freetalklive.com, then I guess you could say that about one-fifth of the five dollars that are coming back, maybe one-sixth of the five dollars that we get in matching dollars are coming from Glenn Jacobs, yeah. essentially. So that's a rough that's a rough number. A portion of the money that is uh, is being matched. Glenn is Jacobs coming from and many Glenn other uh, dedicated matchers. So yeah, so, uh, so when you go and you buy stuff uh, that the WWE does, if you go and you, uh, you know, see them in person, I guess, a portion of Glenn Jacobs' paycheck is going to support Free Talk Live to match your AMP dollars. So check that out at amp.freetalklive.com. It helps us out when you AMP because we can use that money to invest into the show and get on more radio stations all around the country. We just announced a new station tonight, WGRV in Greenville, Tennessee, and we're over 150 stations now. That's 150 talk radio transmitters around the country and beyond. We've got one in Guam and another in the Virgin Islands. Uh, that are airing the show at various different times throughout the week. They're airing the ideas of liberty on the airwaves. And that if that's worth five bucks a month to you to get more people tuned into these ideas, then please, please become a Free Talk Live amplifier. Your amp dollars will be doubled all the way through October, I believe it is. So we've still got several months left in this matching thing. And for all I know, we'll be able to talk them into doing it for another year. I mean, I, I presume we're going to... to uh, attempt that at the very least i wasn't going to no well we'll see what uh, <laughs> you, you come up with a good plan and we'll do it <laughs> never hurts to ask right i mean these you know our, our generous matching contributors have been matching your amp dollars for a full year here and i don't know maybe they'll do it for another one never hurts never hurts to find out and get their opinion so can't make any promises on that but gosh we sure do appreciate their support and glenn's one of them toll free numbers 855 450 free you take control here one dad has been threatened directly to order his are ordered to send his daughter to government school. We'll tell you more about it coming up here on Free Talk Live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla 
can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pillen. I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. There's a treasure hunt going on at MathGate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So, learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, MathGate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So, connect to MathGate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait, others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to MathGate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at MathGate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement. And they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free of the live Saturday edition. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us online at freetalklive.com. Join us in real life in just over two weeks. In fact, in two weeks, there are going to be people already at Rogers Campground. They start to show up before the Porcupine Freedom Festival officially kicks off, which they'll be kicking it off on June 22nd. That is a Sunday. It runs all the way through June 29th, which is the following Sunday. It's a week of fun and fellowship amongst other liberty-minded people in the woods of northern New Hampshire in a place called Rogers Campground. If you've heard about the Free State Project, that is the idea of bringing liberty-minded people all together to the same place 
here in New Hampshire, which was the chosen state for the Free State Project, and getting active to achieve liberty in our lifetime. If you've heard about the Free State Project, you probably already know about the Porcupine Freedom Festival. If not, come on up and check it out. This is a great opportunity to experience the community of liberty-minded folks that we have here in New Hampshire. Of course, many people attending the Porcupine Freedom Festival have never attended before. They've never even been to New Hampshire. It's their first opportunity, an excuse to come up and visit. And boy, is this a perfect excuse for that. You will meet all kinds of interesting people. You can experience interesting presentations. There's a DIY theme, do-it-yourself theme this year at pork fest lots of there's lots of learning to, uh, to be done this week as well as partying there's things like buzz's big gay dance party there's a new goth big goth dance party that's going to be happening so uh, everything from family activities you can bring the dog and the kids uh to you know personal improvement and making there's, there's even a class where you can build a gun where you you pay it's it's an expensive class, but at the at the end, you walk away with guns a, are expensive. You walk away with a gun, uh, so pretty cool. So now the actual cost of attending Porkfest is fairly affordable because obviously you don't have to attend everything that's so going on. Hundred bucks for the week, the whole week, yeah, hundred dollars. That's because you've waited. You haven't gotten your ticket already. If you already got your ticket, then you paid less than that. But uh, go to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. You cannot get tickets online at this point. You just make your plans. Come on up. There will be room for you. It's a big campground. So last time we had about 1,500 people there. I talked to uh, the campground folks, and they said they could they could handle three or th- three to 4,000. So there's still some room to grow for the Porcupine Freedom Festival, and it is probably the biggest. I don't know if it's I don't know if it is the biggest, but it may very well be the largest libertarian, liberty minded kind of festival out there or gathering of any sort. I mean, there are some conventions that go on, but those are usually in the hundreds, maybe high hundreds. This event has reached 1,500 and will likely continue to grow. So come on up and join us June 22nd through the 29th. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, and it's going to be here before you know it. So make your plans now, and we'll see you. And even if you can only make it up for the weekend for Pork Fest or just a couple days during the week, come on up. It's worth it. It is worth the trip, worth the journey. We'll see you there at Pork Fest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. Stoner Jim Bobby calling from Arizona on Free Talk Live, the, the live Saturday show. Go ahead. What's up, dudes? You're on the air. Yo, Marcus. Yes. You with me? I'm with you, man. I took your minister. I took your minister's friend's advice, and I got a high life, and I waked him back this afternoon, and I picked up my cell phone camera, and I went down to the town square to film some old timers cleaning up some chalked up sidewalks. Now I'm an activist and I feel <laughs> such like a winner. Wow. And I'm, Congrats, I would man. submit to you, Mark. I would submit to you, Mark, the reason why there's millions of my fellow Republicans that think that dope should be illegal is because people freebase on such ludicrous hyperbole as war on chalk and go down and desecrate a memorial parade by carrying a peace flag that is showing nothing but the lack of respect to old timers who were remembering people like it could have been my own dad that got murdered by Nazis or by xenophobic Japanese uh, soldiers in the forties. Now um, and, uh, I've been told that no one wants peace like a soldier wants peace. And my friend right. who I go you and visit, that. wait, wait, my friend who goes and visits, he's a World War II vet. I visit him weekly. Um, it's in a nursing home, right? He, well, yeah, I mean, it's a, uh-huh. I don't know if it's called a nursing home or whatever, but, you know, uh-huh. he, he goes and he holds a uh, peace flag and things like this at, uh, at the, the uh-huh. peace vigil, that kind of thing. So, I mean, there are uh-huh. certainly veterans that, that would feel represented by that. Blessed are the peacemakers. I uh, believe the ones that carried uh, guns, not peace flags, in the 40s uh, created a world of peace and ridded the world of the two worst empires ever and made Germany and Japan great and wonderful countries afterwards. I think there's an argument for that. They could, no, there's not. You don't think but there's I an argument for that? I don't believe that. What's that? No, I don't. You don't I've f- already made that clear that I do not agree with that. You're, it's disgusting to compare the two. Uh, but if you don't, you think don't think that, that so people country today who fought for uh, you don't be, think people that fought in World War II made the world freer and better? I mean, obviously, if Hitler would have won, it wouldn't have been a great place. Then again, Stalin won, and that wasn't right, a great place either. Point. Mao you won. Can go to Germany and live free and die if you like, and you actually can emigrate to those countries. And I'd love to uh, this. I'd love to also quote something real quickly, if I may. Minister, you with me? 
I'm I'm listening to you, sir. Uh, um, this is especially for the minister. Okay. Uh, if a stranger sojourn amongst uh, both you, Mark and I are ministers of the Shire Free Church, uh, so well, oh, the New Hampshire Free right. Church. I didn't know you were both ministers, but yeah, now this you is know. my favorite. Speaking of my minister, uh, uh, if a stranger sojourn amongst you, you shall not vex him, for you shall treat the stranger as one born amongst you, for you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But I ain't the terrible God that your minister friend uh, for forsaked on a previous uh, free talk live show, Mark. I'm uh, but, I have no idea what you're talking old, about right now. I know. It's Leviticus 1933. I know. Because you're a dopehead. You've wasted your life smoking too much dope. <laughs> and you're not something that I should consider a real minister. Seriously, you should check Look, it out. That terrible God that you Jim, said. Jim Bobby, uh, if you could that. just clarify what you're talking about, then I could have Leviticus some idea, and our listeners could have some idea. Christ what conversation were you referring to? About the migrant the beginning of your show. Okay, I knew tonight. you wouldn't get me because, again, you're a dope. You don't even know the Well, old you don't want to have a conversation? We won't have a conversation. You just want to call names? You're gone. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Yes, I'm clearly a dope and a total incompetent. The guy wanted to talk about issues and, um, you know, admittedly... No, name- he didn't. He wanted to call names toward right. the end. Name, name calling's fine. You're a, th- you're a talk show host. You, you, you can live with it. I mean, it's... it's no, fine. I can live with it. And he called me several names, and now he's done. If all you want to do is get on the air and call a bunch of names, that's not a conversation. It's your prerogative. You're in the first seat. Okay, poopy head. If I just sit here and call you names <laughs> all night, then that's not a conversation. It's you're talking not good past ratings, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you're, you're talking past people if you're just, you know, insulting them. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can tell me why I'm a dope, and we can talk about that. Oh, I could go on all day. Yeah. Go ahead, then. <laughs> go. Go. Right. Take the calls. Uh, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Well, let's jump into the story, actually, that you have, Mark, about this man who is in trouble He's been ordered to send his daughter to a government school, which, of course, everybody is. Just Normally, you don't get ordered to because most people will send them without having to be threatened. From RawStory.com, written by Travis Geddes, uh, a Florida judge ordered a self-described sovereign citizen to send his daughter to school or face jail time. Hmm. Joseph Rosa of Marion County was arrested Thursday for failure to appear at a truancy hearing and uh, brought before the judge on Monday morning. I did not commit consent or assent to anything being done here, he repeated throughout the hearing. I am the executor of the state of Joseph Anthony Rosa. I demand immediate discharge Mm. of the state known as Anthony Rosa. Circuit Court Judge Anthony Tati asked Rosa, who claims the government has no jurisdiction over him and that he's bound by only common law, why he refused to enroll his eight-year-old daughter in school. Rosa, who was shackled at the ankles and wrists, was accompanied during the hearing by five sheriff's deputies and bailiffs after repeated confrontations with authorities, which he videotapes and posts on his YouTube channel. Oh, wow. He's been previously charged with driving without a license, obstruction of justice, and resisting arrest. His daughter attended kindergarten, first grade at a local elementary school, but she hasn't attended school since. The 37-year-old Rosa was accused has accused deputies of trespassing and insists they cite the law he's broken during videotaped confrontations at his home. Well, that's a crazy thing to do, huh? All right, I want to hear more about this. I mean, this guy, I think he's doing the right thing, although, I mean, in that he's pulling his daughter out of government school, I don't know if I support all of the sovereign citizen stuff. We can, we can hash out the details here in moments. 855-450 free. It's Free Talk Live. The year is 1636, and Commander Eddie Cantrell is on a mission to find oil in the Caribbean. But how will he contend with Spanish governors, hostile natives, and Dutch pirates? 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies, is the latest book in the New York Times, Amazon, and Wall Street Journal best-selling Ring of Fire alternative history series from Bain Books. 1636, Commander Cantrell in the West Indies by Eric Flint and Charles Gannon. Another great book from Bain. Get it now wherever books are sold. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. 
Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Free Talk Live. I was a pedestrian, and an asinine cop backed up and hit me. And oh, God. Knocked me down to the ground. And I said, I think we need to call the police as I'm, you know, screaming in pain. And he said, go ahead. I'm a cop, too. And he left the scene of the accident. Oh, wow. So when the police and the uh, ambulance and all the paramedics arrived to take me to the hospital, because I have knee damage now and need knee replacements to both knees because of his actions. And I told him, I said, you know, I'm a registered nurse. I work drug and alcohol rehab. This guy was drunk. I could see it. I could tell by his... You know, his actions, he was drunk. And I said, I want a blood alcohol done on him. They knew who he was. They waited six hours to go to his home to arrest him. (laughs) And, of course, by then he had sobered up. Sure. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. To register the girl to the second grade. Free Talk Live, and of course you can bring up anything. Even in these remaining moments, we uh, may be able to sneak your call in here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. And don't forget, uh, there are a lot of different features on our website, and we give them all away. Archives, you got them. Back to 2006. Download as many as you like, totally free, at freetalklive.com. So there's a little bit more here, I think, Mark, to your piece from the Raw story about the so-called sovereign citizen who has now been ordered to send his daughter to government school. I'd like you to finish up the piece, and we'll go to your phone calls after that. The 37-year-old Rosa was accused uh, has accused deputies of trespassing and insisted they cite the laws he's broken during videotaped confrontations at his home. It seems like you have the right to uh, videotape law enforcement comes to your home and ask what laws you've broken. Mm-hmm. The judge says they ordered Rosa to send they ordered Rosa to send his daughter to school, told him that she may not be late or have any unexcused absences. She may attend private school but cannot be homeschooled, the judge said. Wow, and this is Florida. I do not take this matter lightly, Tati said, that's the judge. You have deprived your child of the one thing that our government has been uh, fairly good at doing, and that's offering an education to children of this nation. Really? I mean, I think that like 20% of high school graduates, not the ones that don't graduate, graduates are functionally illiterate according to their own tests. That's what the government's done pretty well. I mean, it seems like you could you could do nothing and come up with that kind of number. This is shocking. 
I mean, the idea that uh, we'd heard that California was talking about eliminating homeschooling, but apparently this judge in Florida can eliminate homeschooling simply by waving his pen over a piece of paper. That's it. And likely um, this girl is being homeschooled. I mean, there's concepts like unschooling out there mm-hmm. where you don't actually use curricula and that you go about learning things. This judge would not have any understanding of what that is. Absolutely he would be very not. upset to find out. Absolutely that not. So, um, I mean, basically what this is, is this is a threat to be jailed for 180 days for not filling out the government's paperwork for a homeschooler. Well, he's already in custody, isn't he? Well, he is now because he wasn't right. going to. They didn't think he was going to come to court because he does this kooky sovereign sentence and stuff. Right, and you know he's making statements about how he doesn't understand, uh, you know, what's going on, etc. And he, you know, represents the estate of Joseph Anthony Rosa and this and that. And there's all these theories out there. About I just don't think court. that there's there, like there's no conversation going on here. I don't know if the judge would listen or not, but if he had whatever. Whatever, if he he stated whatever his reason was for not sending his child to government school, like maybe he would get farther and he wouldn't be disallowed from homeschooling. Look, I philosophically do not believe that the government has any role in the education of my child. My child is my child. I'm responsible for her education. And that's why I haven't filled out any of your paperwork. Do you Mm -hmm. understand? Like, that's what my reason is. Yeah, I mean, I think you make a a good point. If, If all he's doing in court is just repeating the sovereign citizen mantras in the hopes that if he says it enough times that they'll get it through their heads and start respecting his decisions, um, obviously that's not happening. So at what point do you drop these theories and try something new? Because this doesn't work. If it did work, we would have evidence of that. Right? Like, if the sovereign citizen stuff, the theory, the court theories, the various different ones, if they actually worked, then why wouldn't we have some sort of evidence of it? Why wouldn't someone go out there and film their interactions or record their interactions or at the very least claim to have had success? Show the paperwork. I understand in a lot of places it's hard to get your, uh, it's hard to get a video camera in a courtroom. Okay, so I'll give yep. you, you know, get, you get a pass on that one. Because in most places, like here in New Hampshire, he's in it's jail not hard. too. Here in New Hampshire, it's not hard. But uh, well, here in New Hampshire, if you've got friends who are on the outside, they can bring a camera in, and that's that's no problem. Uh, but some of these theories have been tried, and they've all failed, from what I can tell. I would like to invite anyone who believes in this stuff to come to New Hampshire and go and get yourself a parking ticket or a speeding ticket or something like that. Get get some sort of low risk. Thing parking tickets are pretty low risk. You can't get points on your license for that. Five bucks in Keene. Yep. So uh, so go and get yourself a parking ticket, and then file all the sovereign citizen paperwork that you want to file. You know, file your fee schedule, fifty thousand dollars an hour if you uh, abduct me or whatever. You have to pay me to come to your court. These are all these things that you know. Some of the things that the sovereign citizens, so called, will advocate for. File your notice of understanding and intent, or whatever you call it, with the the court, declaring that you are a, a sovereign individual and that you do not consent to the court's rules and the jurisdiction challenge the jurisdiction openly in court and see how all of that goes and the reason you want to do it here is because you'll go there you'll film it if it's in keen i'll go and uh, and record it if you're in another place in new hampshire it's less likely i'll go but someone else might go to record it you can get activists up here that will back you up and they will be there the problem right, even is- if you're wrong we'll still back you up just because you know we want to try different things and see if anything works one thing you can be sure of is this mr rosa fella here joseph anthony rosa he's not happy with this article that was written all you have to do is have one article written about you and you know that you're not happy with uh, the way it was written. It just doesn't sound right. It wasn't written from the right perspective. It may be yep. it's likely factually. Get something I think wrong. Every story is factually incorrect in some way, shape, or form. And this guy could ha- could have had a record of what happened if he did it here in New Hampshire. He would have had people that would have backed him up. I, you know, I don't. I, I I'm sad for folks that uh, you know take this path because it often doesn't work. Well, just to be clear, I don't support the idea of sovereign citizens because you can't be a sovereign and a citizen at once. A sovereign is a king, and a citizen is someone who has relinquished their sovereignty in return for an obligation of protection from the king. You sure can't. Um, so sorry, that just doesn't work. But I do appreciate where they're coming from in that they don't consent to the system, that they never consented to it, and they don't want to consent to it, and they right. just want to live free. That much I'm on board with them for, but I just don't know if their theories will hold water and there's not much evidence that they do let's go to terrence he's in madison wisconsin listening to the mike 92.1 wxxm go ahead terrence yeah i just 
uh, I guess you kind of grabbed a lot of the points that I was going to go for. I, I'm totally with you on, you know, I mean, my kids are in public school, but I actually have some friends with masters and PhDs in uh, homeschooling and unschooling and all that. And I understand uh, that point of view. I just don't understand how, you know, you can go into a court of law and argue in that court of law that you don't recognize the authority of that court of law and expect that that is going to work in that setting. I understand the idea that you wish that it were that way or you, you know, want to support that or stand publicly and state that, but I just don't see how that is going to effectively win that case. It just seems like... I would say that likely what it is is it's this it's an extreme point of view that believes in the rule of law. There are people out there, I mean, we just had one call in tonight that uh, you may not have heard him earlier, said that he believed so thoroughly in the rule of law that he would have returned a slave back in the 1860s that was escaped because the Fugitive Slave Act was the law. Now, there's people that believe this, and they believe so thoroughly that the law is the law that they, they see a corrupt system. And they believe that there must be something underneath, some law beneath the law that must still function. And it's, I mean, you know, the systems are just broken and corrupt. Right. And and I fully agree with that. I just, I, you know, and I'm, and I'm all for civil disobedience, but on the other hand, it doesn't really seem like anybody but the very small number of sovereign citizens are backing the sovereign citizen concept. I mean, not just the courts, but, I mean, public opinion, it just seems like nobody really seems to be backing that idea, at least not to the extent that they take it. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's—I guess they would probably call that, what, argumentum ad populum, right? Well, but like, most people who are hearing about sovereign citizens are hearing about them through the mainstream news media. If they have an opinion on them at all, it's likely because, you know, they've right. read some sort of mainstream and, and media. Naturally, then naturally you're only going to hear about the, you know, the furthest— furthest and the craziest and the ones with the least amount of valid argument i mean that's that's usually the ones that get reported on well I'm and there's a, plenty a of crazy i mean there, there there's plenty of crazy within the uh, the sovereign citizen realm and it's frustrating to to watch people just fail at this and i've done it i've tried this these things before so i've been the failure in this case well, you want to see if it works yeah right. and i've changed my approach well <laughs> since then Anytime, anytime you end up going for that sort of thing, naturally you're going to attract a lot of people who are in it, not because they, they believe in a lot of the theories of the sovereign citizen movement, but more because they just want to get whatever the heck they want. And, you know, that's not necessarily the right approach. And Absolutely. inevitably it ends, up, it ends up leaving them looking, you know, like, you know, the, the selfish, self-interested people that they, that they actually end up being at the core. Uh, but uh, the downside to that is that it, you know, puts a, a black mark on all of the people who are in it for all the right, you know, right reasons philosophically. Terrence, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's get Lefty on the line here in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, listening to WLNI. Lefty, you got about the last 20 seconds. Go ahead. Look, I just this thing uh, about your, not the last caller, but the guy right before that wanted to call y'all names. He should really read his history books because most of our greatest presidents in this country were growers of marijuana. Mm. And that was one of the biggest cash props besides tobacco in the early days of this country. Yep, him certainly was. Solid point, and I'm glad you were able to make it so quickly. Thanks, Lefty. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. If you didn't get on this evening, no worries. We've got a Sunday show, and it's live, and Mark will be here for it tomorrow night. Indeed. So join us from 7 to 10 o'clock at night Eastern Time tomorrow night and every single night of the week, seven nights a week at freetalklive.com or your local radio station. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there, is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasy.com. 
Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hard-working men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, June 6, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,253. Silver opened in 1906, and Bitcoin is trading at $658. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. Support also comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Online, accountableauthority.com. In the news, the Los Angeles Police Department acquired two drones this week, enabling them to move closer towards using drones for manhunts, standoffs, and other tactical events. The drones were given to LAPD free of charge from the Seattle Police Department. Each remote-controlled copter is about three feet in width, has three rotors, and is equipped to carry a video camera. CBS reports the FAA must grant the LAPD with a certificate to use the drone. The application process is still in the preliminary stages. A 14-year-old female San Marcos student confided in her parents that she was asked how far she was willing to go sexually during a sex education lesson. Woodland Park Middle School reportedly asked students to stand under signs labeled smiled at, hugged, kissed, above the waist, below the waist, and all the way. That's according to a report from 10 News. School officials defended the dating lesson, saying the goal was to discuss what is appropriate for dating at the middle school level. Students felt embarrassed because they thought the teacher wanted to know how far each would go sexually. The school's principal says the lesson has been in use for several years now. Pakistani officials are calling CIA drone strikes illegal and a criminal act that needs to be investigated. On Thursday, a Pakistani court ordered police to investigate murder allegations against senior CIA officer Jonathan Banks. Human rights campaigners say the move opens up the doorway for other cases to be brought against the U.S. Reports show more than 60% of drone strikes target private homes in the middle of the night, often killing innocent families in their sleep. On Wednesday night, a U.S. drone strike killed three men in Yemen. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Brave New Books, now offering Pro-Pure Water Filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, BraveNewBookstore.com. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, June 6, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. One year after Edward Snowden blew the whistle on government spying, a digital rights group said Thursday it has identified steps that major tech companies and individuals can take to avoid surveillance. The nonprofit Fight for the Future has launched its Reset the Net campaign to identify steps that can be taken to protect online privacy. According to Al Jazeera, the campaign called on large tech companies to encrypt their websites and is promoting easy-to-use tools that individuals can use to shield their phones and computers from NSA spying. The world's second-largest mobile phone company, Vodafone, revealed that government agencies in six unidentified countries use its network to listen to and record customers' calls, showing the scale of telecom eavesdropping around the world. Reuters reports the United States and Britain both came in for global scrutiny and criticism after Edward Snowden disclosed their vast phone, email, and Internet surveillance operations. 
But Vodafone, which has 400 million customers in countries across Europe, Africa, and Asia, said in its disclosure report released Friday that countries in its reach are using similar practices. Federal prosecutor Harold Range announced an investigation over alleged snooping on Angela Merkel's mobile phone by the NSA in a case that has soured relations between Germany and the U.S. Range told broadcaster ARD on Wednesday that questioning the chancellor was not on the agenda. He added that there were also no plans at the moment to question former NSA contractor turned whistleblower Edward Snowden, who leaked the evidence about the mass surveillance program, including that of the spying on Merkel's phone by the NSA. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And support comes from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, June 6, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. In this week's Onion Tips section, five easy ways to adapt your deplorable and parasitic existence for the upcoming Armageddon. Tip one, focus on preparing your home for any number of disaster situations, which still probably won't take your mind off of your impending death or the myriad mistakes you made in your short, pitiful life. Tip two, make sure your linens are clean prior to the upcoming catastrophe, as these are likely the very same sheets on which you will soon be slowly asphyxiated. Tip three, take some time off work and spend your last days free from the bonds of the oppressive machine that was just about the only thing giving you a purpose to your otherwise insignificant days. Tip four, spend your final waking minutes before the end of the world with your family, knowing full well you'd rather be doing a number of other gratifying yet completely depraved things. Right, sicko? In other news, a smitten foot fetishist thinks these may be the two. A woman 